What's up, YouTube? Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome to the Prestige Reef Talk Show. When, right? when did this Not become bad. a thing? It almost makes us sound like we're a couple. It does. Just this so you know. Just so everyone knows, I was not informed of this decision before before Alex put it up, and I only saw it probably about an hour before this started. <laughs> I never tell you about anything I'm planning on doing. So true, true. Um, but yeah, it, it became a thing about three days ago. I was like, you know what, let's do it. <laughs> okay. And, I just, <laughs> and, and I, so the, the the last time, the, so we've been off for two weeks, and the last um, uh, uh, the last uh, stream we did, I watched I watched it back. And because I was hung over, it turned out I'd had eight drinks, not four, by the way. But because I was hung over, I started. Uh, I started it, and I was trying to be pumped up. And I started. I was, oh, hi everybody, welcome to the Sunday night live stream. And this is Ryan. And I was like, if anybody who was new to the to the to the channel would have watched that, yeah. instant click off and like not watching this. Oh, so that's why you were <laughs> so, so upbeat a minute ago. Energy, because oh, that yeah. surprised me. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I know. What well, I like to never tell you anything that I'm going to do, no, yes, so they like get a, an honest reaction. So. <laughs> okay. Uh, how are you anyway? You all right? I'm good. I'm good. And you? I am very good. Did yeah. you enjoy your a... time in Greece? Greece, I did. I had a fantastic time. Lovely, very relaxing, uh, and I got to watch a Prestige Reef live stream uh, in That's... the airport. So yes, I remember that last week. <laughs> Because I wanted to go at about the hour mark, and uh, and then you kept asking these really really long winded questions Top to keep me there, and... <laughs> and I stayed, and I stayed until the two hour mark. Yeah, <laughs> just to keep you entertained. It was, it was perfect. I, I sent you a photo after, didn't I? It was literally I was getting on the plane as you were finishing. It was it was perfect timing. I appreciated it. <laughs> yeah, I do it just for you. Good stuff. Um, and uh, uh, Les has got the right idea. Just stay drunk. Uh, good evening, all anybody. Hello. We're going to be talking about um, there was a raft of new products from Macna <clears throat> uh, a week ago, something like that, 10th of September. Yeah, oh, two weeks ago now. Wow. Out of date. Um, but it looked, uh, there was a few things that kind of caught my eye um, and a few things I wanted to talk about. So we're going to start with a product that, um, and actually, so Ryan, I don't, I think, I don't know if I told you everything properly. You probably don't know a lot about most of this. <laughs> I don't know not... about any of this. Just I was informed <laughs> that this is what we were doing yesterday. And I thought to myself, I'm going to do some homework. And then I did exactly what I did when I was at school. And I didn't do any homework. So <laughs> about five minutes ago, I went, Alex, what are we doing? <laughs> and he very quickly ran through um, some products. Um, I do have an opinion on... Uh, like, you're, for me, you'll be getting like a first... A first, an honest first opinion um, for these. But what I did say to Alex just a minute ago was that I was spoiled at Macna 2018. Um, Macna 2018 had the best products released, or all the new, exciting, innovative products. So I'll be interested to see what 2022 brings, because I think it'll be hard to beat that. So yeah, there's not a massive amount of. I'm just going to see if I can darken my camera a bit. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's. Oh, that's too much actually. Let's brighten up a bit. Um, so there's not. There's nothing that's like cutting edge, but there are a few things that I think are really cool. And I'm going to start with a product that the manufacturer said that this is in the early stages, and they're testing out, and they want to see what the reaction of the community is. So that's okay. a perfect one. And this, so for you guys watching at home, in the comments and in the chat, of course now. Tell us what you think about it, because this I think I get the impression it, it might be so far developed that they're going to bring it anyway. But say if you if you want it, they're, they're more likely to bring it. And if you don't want it, um, they're less likely to. So this is called. Oh no, I've not teed everything up. Ah, oh, professional, oh, not know, good, just, not I, good. I've, I've had a mare tonight. I've, I've just I spent about half an hour trying to connect to the internet. This is right. this is what happens when you take a week off or two weeks off. Yeah, out of touch, get rusty. <laughs> so this is the Elos Dosatron, which is hilariously similarly named to the Dosatronic, but it is isn't and it's orange, but it's, there's no connection. It is uh, Elos, so a respected company, Elos. They make exquisitely nice uh, aquariums that are very expensive as well. I would like one, uh, and they also make very good phosphate test kits. Uh, probably a bunch of other stuff as well. But those are the things that I always think of them for, phosphate test kits. The phosphate test kit is like awesome, basically. But they are branching out into dosing. So this is a, <clears throat> the Dosatron is a dosing pump 
and LG Auto Care has uh, got it, spotted it already. This is the one that doses by weight. So <clears throat> I'll move my mouse over. Can you see my mouse on the screen now? You can. I can see it. Yeah, yeah. Just about. Okay. So, uh, so you can see the, the three dosing pumps at the top, as per usual. They're just standard. I, from what I can make out, and that's information is a bit scant on these, but from what I can make out, these are standard, not the fine-tuned stepper motor ones. They're standard peristaltic pumps for dosing stuff. Um, and that's a separate unit. And then the block below is the interesting part. And for now, you can ignore the bottles, but these are scales. So those bottles, to me, look like they're about a litre, one litre, roughly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and they are sitting on scales. So instead of dosing and calibrating um, <clears throat> your, your pumps based on the, the amount of time it takes, it turns, this automatically self-calibrates and self-adjusts based on weight so it always knows how much uh, liquid so so it'll start by, by it knows it's got a thousand milliliters of liquid in there it yeah. will dispense 10 milliliters and therefore it will know because it weighs 10 milliliters less it will know um, how much liquid is left and so that will mean it's always 100 percent calibrated it will never drift and it's spot on when you, when you first told me about this i was skeptical but now <laughs> and I've, I've literally just changed genuinely I'm not sure why or how it would be useful, but in terms of it being, because see, with a, such a big system like mine, it doesn't it doesn't matter even if you're like thirty mils out. Now I understand for a small system, so so that's the problem. I I work on huge on a massive scale now, so if it's dosing an extra thirty mils or whatever of um, alkalinity, it doesn't matter. But I would understand for obviously a much smaller tank that accuracy is actually far more important. But I didn't get that until literally then. <laughs> yeah, okay. So I, I think it looks a really interesting product, but I wouldn't buy it. So, And actually, there, there are three categories that I've put for all of these products. Do I want it? Or three questions. Do I want it? Will it improve my reef? And is it good value? Those are the three questions that I've asked myself with all of these products. So number one, <clears throat> do I want it? Yeah, I do. I think it's cool. However... Although it's, it's better because it will always be calibrated and, and I calibrate stuff by weight anyway, rather than uh, like a, on a, in a graduated cylinder or whatever, the, the milliliters. Yeah, yeah, that's that, right. That is the better. Yeah, that's the better way of doing it. But there are a couple of problems. First off, they've said that um, they know how much their own dosing liquids weigh, but they don't uh, currently have the, the measurements, I think, for all other liquids. And I was measuring out coincidentally yesterday my ATI Essentials Plus. And it weighs a lot more than so. Water weighs a, a thousand mil. Uh, yeah, a kilogram yeah. is a thousand is a liter, right? Uh, uh, and uh, my ATI Essentials Plus, unsurprisingly, is a lot heavier than that. So at the moment, you you would have to work it out yourself and then tell it. But that will that will in time that will come. So you'll be able to say, I'm dosing Red Sea, I'm dosing Triton, and it'll say, right, okay, I know how much that weighs. <clears throat> but the thing, the reason I think that this is. I think it's cool and I hope they do bring it out because I think some people will like it. And I think it's better than the normal way to uh, for, for dosing pumps to work. But there are two problems with it, I think. One, I think it, this is actually, although it's a better way of doing it, I think this is solving a problem that doesn't exist. Yeah, yeah. Because, As I was saying, I like, like the idea, but I don't know why I like the idea. And Because it's and cool. <laughs> yeah, and Rolly's Reef has just said exactly what I do. So, so I basically, I don't ever calibrate my doses. And I think probably 99% of other people are exactly the same. They, you do do it at the very beginning. When you first install them, you calibrate them. But after, it, it, you just you see your alkalinity dropping and then you just increase it slightly. And you don't actually recalibrate it. Exactly. So I do calibrate from time to time, but maybe every six months and maybe even less to be fair. But the reason I think that this is solving a problem that doesn't exist is, that the, and the reason people don't recalibrate it doesn't to be honest um <clears throat> calibration is a good thing and you want to be accurate but ultimately if my uh, so i do i have two part literally two part calcium and alkalinity and they always go down in the exact same amount so okay. i know that if they're both off if they're both off if both um uh, dosing pumps are out of calibration they are equally out of calibration yeah, which yeah. is actually I, I wouldn't have thought that would be the case but it's all for three years i've been doing this uh on, on dosing this stuff on this tank maybe four years i've always noticed they go out at the same time and when you recalibrate them they are out but they yeah. seem to go down together so yeah. for me at least I, I 
I would never bother. I don't care if it if if I tell it to put in a litre and it only puts in nine hundred milliliters. I don't really care because all I care about is is the amount I'm putting in keeping the KH at the right level. Yes, so I don't exactly. care if it's ten percent out. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's that's exactly what, what Rowley's Reef is saying. Also, the same same for me, and probably most other people. I think people generally are lazy, <laughs> so if you yeah. can find an easier yeah. way of doing it, you just do it the easy way. Yeah, but the, and that so that's the second point with this that I think is is a problem with it, or the problem with it. And this is so this is not for every, this is these problems are not going to be for everyone. Um, but this would be a problem for me. Sorry, mate, that full screen again. So the problem for me is these these containers look to me, and it doesn't say, but they look about a litre. They might be yeah. bigger, actually, but they look about a litre. Uh, I use uh, basically almost 100 millilitres per day of dosing liquids, yeah, yeah. Which, which plenty of other people do as well, maybe even more. That would last you. That would mean you're topping up. I would top up every 10 days. Well, my, my I currently... <laughs> Go Sorry, on. no. I was Go gonna on. say my alkalinity vat barrel is 140 liters for the coral farm. <laughs> yeah. So, so those definitely won't last very long. <laughs> well, that's, that's a slightly different scenario, isn't it? <laughs> no, of course, of but, course. That's why yeah. it's difficult because I have to go back to remembering what, what it was mate. like to be a, a reef, a normal reefer. If you see what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, so but the problem with that. So if if I'm topping that up every 10 days, I'm not. I can't be bothered with that. And if if the, if it, most equipment should make life easier for you yeah. and that would make life more difficult because i currently use 2.7 liter containers and if i had to jump down to, to one liter containers uh, i don't i don't like that and because because of the way these work it's got those fixed scales you can't just swap out to your own dosing bottle you have yeah. to use these size dosing bottles is the scales the orange bit then the scales so yeah the scales are underneath the bottles because that looks um, quite large. Look, I look. I don't want to say anything bad about a, a new product, you, and I don't think you have any intention of doing that either. It's just an opinion, right. rather than this mm. could be the like game changing if you see what I mean. But it's um, I just I don't want people to for us to come across <laughs> like we're just bashing people's new no, product. No, 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 <laughs> absolutely not. And and so and the reason that I'm so the reason that I'm highlighting these issues is because well, for a start, it's in development, so. Maybe they can uh, they can change the the bottle size thing. I don't know, but more to the point, that I'm not saying this is a bad product. I actually think it's really good, but it wouldn't suit me, and I don't think it would suit most people. But Elos are not a, a high volume Red Sea uh, appeal to everyone company. They're a niche company who appeal to a, a small section of the um, of the of the hobby. And for yeah. if you've gone. I was going to say, if they're scales, can't you just increase the bottle size yourself? Or does they have to, it's hard to see what they're actually sitting on. Do the bottles fit yeah. into something or is it literally just scales? So this is pre-production. So it might be that I don't know what the scales look like under that, inside that orange container. Yeah. It might be that actually that, because you can see the top, the dosing unit is just sat on a frame. So you might be able to put the dosing unit somewhere else. So you're not yeah. restricted on height. And it might be that actually the final production unit doesn't have that box covering it so you can put any size container on it yeah within reason I, it would be up to five kilos i would expect um but I, I don't know at the moment though if if that was it and it came and that was how it came i don't want to have to be forced to use their their yeah, um, yeah. Their, their bottles yeah. but it is a better way of doing it and i appreciate the extra accuracy and for some people i think that'll be wicked but it's it wouldn't be for most people. And the other reason it's not for most people, do you know how much this costs? No. <laughs> how how much do you how much do you think it costs? Because we'll start am, with it with it. One second, because I need to uh so you don't have to Google it. <laughs> no, I'm not Googling it. It's just a normal dosing pump, isn't it? So it's not it doesn't yeah. Oh, oh, now I can hear myself. Sorry, I opened the wrong thing. I was gonna Google a the um the GHL ones that I've got. I think they're like three hundred or something of the ones I've got. I think. Yeah, so so the, actually, James, the scales live in that little um, orange housing at the bottom, underneath the the three bottles. They live right under there. So the bottles sit on the scales. Uh, that's where they live. I don't know um, if George we, knows the answer or if he's guessing. But he does not. But I, I wasn't intending to to ask people's comments. But I'm I'm glad you've answered actually. So these are five, and this is this is US dollars, by the way. So you know, and which is likely to end up if it comes over here, if it was. A dollar, it would likely be a pound. So, and, and that's for the same for everything on tonight. If I, some things I know the price in pounds, some things in dollars, but you can basically swap dollars for pounds, give or take. 
Yeah, now I've uh, just realized. So even the GHL ones, I'm sure they've gone up in price. They're like they're 400 and something now. So Chips, um, assu- yeah. something tells me this is going to be a lot of money. Otherwise, you it wouldn't have been such a big deal for you. Well, no. So that so it's it's not it, that it's 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 not it's that it's either it's not really so a lot it's, or hardly anything. <laughs> well, it's it's not it's not a thousand pounds, but it's nine hundred dollars. <laughs> the hobby's just got crazy. It's a lot it of just money. It, like my, so. This is my question. As I say, and the, unless there's an actual quality difference, which you can mm. get a quality difference between products that do roughly exactly <laughs> the same thing, what what makes it basically double the cost of the GHL one, or double the cost of any other? I'm sure Red Sea do. I know Red Sea do a dosing pump. I don't know what theirs is. I'd be interested to see what theirs is actually. Uh, you, so actually, uh, GHL is a really good one to compare it to. Although I didn't get on with GHL um, equipment, I had the dosing pump, the four head dosing pump, is the best dosing pump I've had. It's really quiet, super accurate, and a really good quality piece of kit. Yeah, yeah. This dosing pump, and, and I might be mistaken. This is pre-production, so who knows? This dosing pump doesn't look like a really high quality piece of kit. It, I think it doesn't really need to be because of the scales and what you're paying for is the innovation. Yeah. But this isn't the, the, like the hardware of the dosing pump itself is not the same level as the Versa, the, uh, the, the GHL. <laughs> you're brutal. <laughs> oh no, I'm not. This, but that's, that's the whole point of this is with, with, I... a, don't, with, a, with a Versa and with a GHL, you don't get scales. You don't get 100% accuracy. You no, have to yeah, no, it. I know what you're so saying. I'm, I just... I'm, I'm not, <laughs> is... I, I've just looked at the Red Sea one, which is um, which is only three twenty. I'm I'm surprised that um, the the difference in cost between uh, if someone said to me Red Sea, I would have actually I would yeah I would have put maybe slightly under the GHL one, which is which is roughly where it is. Um, but if it's nine hundred pounds or or eight, even eight hundred pounds after the <laughs> um, the conversion, yeah. it's quite a lot of money. Uh, and I'm not quite sure what you get this extra. The problem these days is that it feels like almost there's no real new innovation. It's there's it seems to be a lot of the same stuff which has been like taken. They've taken other people's ideas. I'm not saying that's what they've done, but everyone does yeah. it. They've taken the, there was a, the original yeah. dosing pump, and then then there's a second dosing pump and a third dosing pump, and they're all <laughs> roughly the same but with different prices and different logos on them. And that's what it feels like at the moment. There's only one real big innovation. Um, that was quite an experience for everyone, you know. They were... <laughs> my six pack pop out. Yeah, <laughs> there's only there's only one real like serious innovation for for this live stream, which I know of. There might be other ones, um, but I this think this. Can, I think that thing. is innovative. I, that is new. That I've never seen a, any dosing pump that does that. That for me is a very innovative product. I think and it's not innov- <clears throat> It's not in- innovative unless it's doing rough. Unless it's doing something I completely see. different. It's doing the same thing, just a different way of doing it. Is what you're saying? It, so even the yeah. red, when so Red Sea <laughs> obviously brought out the protein skimmer, didn't it? And <laughs> their protein skimmer was you go. Well, it's roughly the same as every other protein skimmer. What makes it different? And you can say, oh, it's got a different pump or anything like that. But the thing that stood out to me, which was most different, was the the bit in the top where you turn it. So you could clean the skimmer. Yeah, now, yeah. in reality, what was happening was rather than doing it every day, which would keep it clean, people were just doing it once a week. And then, and then all the crap was being poured back into the tank. Mm. So it's, an, it's a nice idea, but people weren't using it in the right way. So that is innovative for a protein skimmer. This is just doing the same thing roughly. I think you're being a bit harsh. I think that is innovation. That is a, a new thing. <laughs> you're not happy, are you? <laughs> I just, you, you know what I'm trying to say. It puts basically a, a dosing yeah. pump. Puts it still doses. In. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to play well, a game of who, who's more harsh today, aren't we? I know. But And uh, uh, Sam Lock uh, is threatening us. He says you can hire a hitman for, uh... oh, hang on. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry, I put the wrong comment up. <laughs> He's deleted it. Someone That's said you right. can hire a hitman for 900. <laughs> oh, no, here we go. He hasn't tweeted it. Here we go. <laughs> 900. But anyway. Howard knows. Howard knows. There you go. And if you're, not, and if you're not careful, Elos are going to hire one for you. <laughs> yeah. Italian. Right. If they're based in uh, Sicily. Yeah, you want to watch out. So, but no, I think that's I think that's a really cool product, and I think some people will love it. Especially like if you've got if you if you're the kind of person who buys an Elos aquarium, 
that looks quite smart as well. Um, and that that'll be right up your street. I think that's a really good product, but it's not for the masses. And uh, so going through my three questions, do I want it? Yes, I do. I think it's cool. Will it improve my reef? No. <laughs> and is it good value for money? Arguably, yes. But realistically, given that all, for, for what you're getting, maybe, but given that all it does is dose uh, liquids to your tank and you can do that for a third of the price. Yeah. It's expensive, would... isn't it? Probably not for me. Nothing wrong with the product, just in my opinion. I don't need another dosing pump, so. <laughs> yeah, I like how Les, yeah. Les, however, agrees with me. So that's that's definitive. Les is the, uh, he's, he's the yeah, he's the decider. Oh, you, look, you're meant there to tell go. me Les what I'm just filling the gap when you drink. <laughs> well, that's the end of my uh, my bottle of water. So we we are oh, you are safe. We're good. We'll just wait for the ice then the next time when you start chewing on that. No more ice. I've got rid of the ice, so we're all good. Yeah. Okay, so that was the first one. And um, it seems like there were a couple of other... Actually, there were comments about it. Uh, what else was there? You don't need uh, such accuracy for most things a cheap Jekod would do. I wouldn't use Jekod for, for um, dosing personally, but I take the point. And this is basically what we're saying. Is it's a lot of money for what it is. Um, and scales need to be calibrated too, Michael says. I get the impression, and I it didn't they didn't say about this, but I get the impression that either... Uh, they they don't, or they need to be calibrated a lot less. Maybe you calibrate them at the start, I don't know. But if if you need to calibrate the scales as much as you do the dosing pumps, it's pointless. <laughs> well, I don't think that's use, the case. Why wouldn't you use the, um, is it the J, J-Cod or J-Cod? j yeah, 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 why J-Cod. wouldn't you use that? And the only reason I ask is because with a dosing pump, the only real issue is if it doses too much. It's not like you, it, it can not dose enough and then things can slowly go wrong. Yeah, but if it yeah. doses too much, it goes really you're, wrong really yeah, quickly. You're <laughs> yeah. I have, I've never heard of anyone where the dosing pump has done that. There's Got loads of where the, the, there's loads where the, the tubes have been blocked or it just didn't work for whatever reason. I've had it on a few different ones, all different brands, but I've never ever had it where someone literally has it stuck on. And I just wonder this if you've ever true. heard it. No, and the, but the reason I wouldn't use so I'm a fan of Jekod, as you'll all know. I've got a load of their stuff. I've made uh, reviews, singing their praises. They're good, um, but for, uh, for for like for flow and stuff, fine. Uh, if I've got five flow pumps, if one dies, don't really care. But if a, if a, I just feel like it's going to be less accurate and uh, more likely to fail, and I'm not, I, that's too much of a hassle. Because if your dosing pump failed, all right, it's not going to crash your tank, but you've then got to go and get another one. Yeah, um, yeah. you it'll fail when you're on holiday and it's just, I, I wouldn't use it. But then I used to say, I wouldn't, I wouldn't keep, I wouldn't have Evergrow lights. And then I bought a pair and they're bloody amazing. So <laughs> there you go. See, sometimes you can't judge a book by its cover. You cannot, <laughs> but it's fun to do so sometimes. So. Um, but anyway, right. So that was the first one. The second one is uh, another alkalinity monitor. So alkalinity monitors, I think most people would agree are pretty awesome. And this is, Kamoa yeah. getting in on the act. So this is the Kamoa KH Carer uh, is what this is called. And I'm going to see if they can, do you know what? I'm, I'm going to move that video along uh, because I want to show you what it actually looks like. Because half the point of this is they are saying, hey, look, this is a really nice bit of kit. And one of the one of the USPs is that it looks so nice that you'd have it in your living room. You'd have it on display. Uh, and I want to see what everybody thinks about that statement because <clears throat> I don't agree with it. What do you think? <laughs> no, I'm not again. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. It was like it like sneaks up on you. It's like, oh yeah, I wonder how everyone thinks about because I don't agree with Bang. it. It's rubbish. No, 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 no. But let, let me explain that then because it's, it's not. It look that is a, a smart looking piece of kit that looks classy. It looks a bit like it's from my uh, year, uh, you know, fourteen year old science class. Um, but it looks it looks smart. I do like it. Yeah. I think it does look a nice piece of kit. But and the same thing can be said for the refactory cage keeper. That is a smart looking piece of kit, but I don't want it on display in my living room. No, I wouldn't have anything on display. I wouldn't even have it on display next to my tank. Exactly. I, anything like that, I want hidden. That's how it works. The, you're coffee, that's, coffee why I, that's why I laughed at it. It looks like a coffee machine. I, look, it looks like a coffee machine on like the International Space Station. That's what, that's yeah. what it looked like. I do think it looks nice. I don't like in terms of. <laughs> Uh, I don't know actually because I quite like the GHL ones because they all stack on top of each other, so yeah, they yeah, sort yeah. of like look all right together. Um, yeah. But it, as far as it goes, it's not that bad. It's 
No, I think I think it's a I think it's a good looking piece of kit, but a few of the videos, a couple of videos from Macna were saying, and th maybe this is just like the sales pitch. Oh, you could have this on out uh, in your living room, and your missus would be like, "Oh wow, well, that's really nice. Let's have it." Yeah, come on, <laughs> that's like. I think no, so. I think that's a bit. Most most bit people miss is they don't want the tank in the living room, let alone that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And, and it looks. And is, it, is the reason it has to be on display in your living room because it's too big to fit in the cabinet? <laughs> Well, that's the other thing. So it's it's. Let me go back to the the video here. So it looks, it's not massive, but it's not small. Yeah, I think that's. It, it. Let me put, make the bigger. But. I believe they're a good uh, brand for, for what sure. they for what they make already. So it'd be interesting to know. The biggest problem with all of these KH um, guardians or uh, directors or anything like that, and it's probably the same as the refact factory one, is mm -hmm. the. It's the accuracy I find with all of them. And they're all the same. They're not as accurate as you would hope they would be for the most um for the the most um like sensitive important. important. Yeah, yeah. So, um I don't think that's an issue to be honest. So with the only time I had an issue was with my GHL when it was out by one DKH and I just couldn't get it any closer. But I bet if I stripped it down, reset it and started it again, I bet I'd get it closer. And for I don't know what my KH keeper is uh, in terms of accuracy. Uh, I've tested it against the Hanno a couple of times, I, within half, 0.4 within half a DKH, and that for me yeah. is accurate enough. I, if my if my alkalinity is eight or eight point five, I don't care. So as long as it's no, as long as it's getting the right, as long as it's constantly reading the right amount, and yes. it's constantly out by the same amount. <laughs> yes, it's a, it's a stable trend is what's the most important yeah, thing. Yeah, exactly. So that so that doesn't that accuracy doesn't bother me for these, um, but, but but you're the same as me where you wouldn't trust you wouldn't trust it to adjust your alkalinity only test no. it. No, I, I did set up to, when I when the when I got the KH keeper, I set it up to do that to see what it was like, and I tried to get the GHL to do it, but I couldn't figure it out because it was I'm a bit stupid and <laughs> it's too complicated for me. Yeah. Um, but uh, um, we've got uh, this is a PlayStation Six. Simon says. Um, but uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, so, uh, oh, yeah, so I couldn't get the GHL to work. And, and I tried the um, the KH Keeper one. And the KH Keeper is a bit basic. It just says, if you, if it, if it says, if your alkalinity is too high, you can tell it to dose a bit less of the next dose. Whereas really what you want oh. is, I, I want to tell a, a piece. I don't know if this is what the um, Alcatronic does, but I want to tell, a, if I'm going to let it take control, and I'm not going to, but if I'm going to do that, I want yeah. to say, I want my alkalinity to be eight. You take care of that. Does, you deal um, with everything I'd, the rest. <clears throat> I'd be interested to know if anyone in the comment section uses any of these KH testers in the way that they where they are meant to use them. Not not meant to use them. But if if any of these people, any of if anyone uses the KH testers where you allow it to just adjust the the water of your tank, mm. because so far I don't know of anyone who does use it, but most of them claim they can do it. Yeah, so I've seen plenty, plenty of people who do do it, but I'm just not brave enough Have myself. You? And that's interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I would not on Facebook. There's no chance, not a chance, that I would allow no. something to do it. <laughs> but I, I, what's the point? Because with with my alkalinity, I don't know about yours. You can set your watch by my alkalinity. Once you've got it dialed in, and it takes a, a couple of weeks to get it dialed in, it doesn't really change. Over a couple of weeks, suddenly it might start increasing or decreasing slightly. But it's slow. It's you, you. I don't need to automate that. I don't need to add that extra layer. And no. also, I've had a, a few times on both of the KH, um, the KH keeper and the KH director, they've given false results. So the uh, the the um, the reagent tube yeah. has popped off, and suddenly it says that my alkalinity is fifteen. And if it thought it was fifteen, yeah. it would stop dosing, and it would be like, uh, mate, no, can you can you keep dosing, please? Yeah. <laughs> so I no, don't. I, want I, know. I, I know what you mean. Um, but I'm, as I said, I'm surprised that you said there are people that, that do do it because that's the easiest oh, yeah, way yeah. to crash your tank, in my opinion. <laughs> that's it. And uh, to maybe people, there have probably been people doing it for years and don't have a problem. Uh, and it's probably a low risk, but it's just, it's one of those things where it's a low risk, high impact. So it's chance of it going wrong, pretty slim. But if it does, and I, there, are no, there is no product on the market that I would trust to control my alkalinity form. A few people are saying that the Trident is what they use. I've just seen it. But I uh, Trident's calcium, I've seen, can be way off. Oh, really? so, <laughs> yes. 
like I know a few people that have, have tested the calcium and it has been like a hundred out. So if that's the case, then it's mm. I just wouldn't <laughs> trust it. No, so, I'm with but it. then again, look, and it, going back to what you said, you see, so your alkalinity is very stable. Mine is incredibly not stable because all the time I have corals coming in and corals going out. So if you put a box of I don't know thirty corals in, that is going to screw with your alkalinity almost immediately. Yeah, for sure. But so if, if you know that, and so, and that, so when I sold my about a third of my corals to you, yeah, yeah. I obviously knew that that meant my alkalinity consumption was going to plummet because there's yes, less corals yeah. in there. So, but you know that, so you just adjust your, 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 your alkalinity dosing down and then you test, yeah. you keep testing to make sure you've got it right. How did so, that work out for you again? Uh, I, I think <laughs> it, I did actually, I think I lost a colony <laughs> you did. because I, I had a one D, DKH swing. Uh, I'm a nightmare, aren't I? Cause I remember these things. <laughs> I've got such a bad memory, but yeah, yeah, you're right. I did, but yeah, but to be fair, I oh, know that was yeah, yeah. I yeah, I lost a coral, <laughs> and it was a really nice yeah. one as well. But yeah, anyway, yeah I remember I was, it was one of my favorite pieces. It was pink, yeah, though, wasn't it? It was with yellow tips. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was a uh, uh, Acropora. Uh, uh, I can't remember. <laughs> Never mind. Anyway, back to the KH, the Kamoa KH thingy carer so I, I don't have a price for this yet if you know the price at home say in the chat i i haven't seen it yet for this i would this for me would have to come in around the 800 pound mark which is roughly where most of them land more or less if it's more yeah. if it's much more than that I don't know because the thing with so with with there are a couple of features about this actually. Let's start. I'll talk, there's a couple other things that are, that are different from this. So first off, um, the the brain of the, uh, the 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 thing, the printed circuit board, the PCB is at the top of this. Yeah. And the point of that is the why they they make such a big deal of that is if you if one of these dosing pumps pops off and it leaks, yeah, it yeah. doesn't matter because it's not going to drip onto it. So it's a safety feature um yeah that personally doesn't really interest me it's I, I've, I've never had that problem in, a, in another one but i like it i think that's a good idea and the other thing with this is you've got all these there's a little door on the side that you can very easily access all the tubes and all that sort of stuff and that is really good because maintenance on these you do need to calibrate them yeah and yeah. so being able to to play with them easily is really important so i like that uh what that's, else that's a um, roof talk approved one is it <laughs> potentially yeah I, I like it and with with anything like this so i'm it, i'm not going to buy it because i've already got one that i like and that works yes. for me, so there's no point yeah. buying it if it ain't broke don't fix it but if if i when i when i was when i got rid of my ghl i looked i considered all options on the market and yeah. it just so happened that refactory sent me one of theirs I was yeah. considering buying one of those. I was considering buying an Apex and a dose of Alcatronic. Yeah. Um, and if this, if I was, if this was in the mix at the same time and I didn't have one, that would be on my list for sure. Subject to two things: <laughs> one, the price. It's certainly got to be less than a grand, and ideally, eight hundred or, or or less. And I would expect it to be cheaper because Kamoa yeah. make their own pumps. The, the the KH Keeper uses Kamoa pumps uh, yeah, that yeah. look identical to these. So surely they get them cheaper than than anyone else does, and most most de pump, dosing pumps are come out, aren't they? So this for me should be cheaper. I would expect it to be seven hundred quid, maybe, maybe do a bit less. Maybe that's a bit cheap. Do you think that we have become desensitized to the price of things because we've been doing this for so long? Because uh, it's a crazy amount of now, money, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Hearing these now, nine hundred pounds for a dosing pump and seven hundred. I mean, look, I, the seven hundred pounds, if that is what it is, like it, it's a useful piece of equipment. It more than a dosing pump. Let's put it that way. Um, but when you think about how much nine hundred pounds is or seven hundred pounds, it's almost like we've become desensitized to what you yeah. can buy with that money. <laughs> yeah, you could go on a good holiday for a grand, couldn't you? Or yes. buy something that tests your tank for you. Yeah, it's it's an interesting one because it wasn't a, until this moment did I think at all that how expensive this hobby has got. That's an idea for your next philosophical video. <laughs> what else can you buy instead of? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. True. It's just interesting because, like, as as I said, it's I would never have even contemplated buying that 
buying something that was nearly a thousand pounds for this 10 years ago but now it's almost like it's like you're expected yeah, right. you're, you're expected what? to have it that is that so, is the price of these things so 800 quid is roughly what they cost so if it costs 800 yeah. quid that's not expensive uh, and I, i'm getting mocked by james who says if it quotes me saying if it ain't broke don't fix yeah. it except lights <laughs> <laughs> um heat the house for a week yeah yeah like two days of uh, of electricity yeah. um but yeah, so okay. But anyway, so let's assume it's eight hundred quid, which is probably around where it's going to end up. Um, that's maybe that's fair. I'd I think it, I, I'd want it to be a little bit cheaper, ideally, but that might be optimistic to be fair. And eight hundred quid. What makes it different the, to others? Uh, it, the, so the things they're talking about are the things the things I've mentioned. So the brain at the top, the easy access, and the fact that it looks nice. That, that's what they say is different. They also said in the videos, a couple of the videos. Oh, and and you all know that the Kamoa app is great. So that's a bonus. Now, for me, the last time I had a Kamoa app was Kamoa X4 Wi-Fi dosing pump. Did you ever have one of those? No. But no, so I really saw cool. someone mention in the comment section about their app, so I'll be interested to see what you say. <laughs> well, I, I, I'll, uh, I've missed it, but I'll, I'll see if I can find it in a minute. But the, So the, the Kamoa X4 Wi-Fi dosing pump app was rubbish. That's, it was... that's roughly what they said. Not about the <laughs> yeah. Wi-Fi. They just said they didn't like the app. Yeah, so it was it was because Kamoa, I believe, is a Chinese company, and it was like they put it into Google Translate and just literally translated the words. So it would it would say things like the network is connect, and I'm like, uh, and what it means is it's connected to your Wi-Fi. But well, if you can't of... work that out, then I think you're the problem. Well, no, not, that's, not, no, 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 that's, that's not the that's just, <laughs> Fair point, but that's just an example of the weird <laughs> language. It's just a little bit odd. And I, I found it a little bit clunky to connect to, and I wasn't a fan. It was okay for reefing standards, but yeah. it wasn't it wasn't great. So I would expect them to have developed it and improved it on this. Yeah. The other, actually, the other USP with it is it's got a little screen I've just noticed at the top. <laughs> so that will presumably say what its uh, current result is. Look, which... I like the idea because obviously I have the cage ones. I like mm. the idea of having of easy access the not the the, the GHL ones. I like the idea of the easy access from the side because you yeah. I don't think you can get very easily into the GHL ones without literally no, taking them gotta, apart. If you got to breach sure your you warranty. Can. You if you oh. can do it, you can get into it, but it breaks you there's a little tab so it breaks the warranty if you do that. So I do see that as a useful improvement. So this one I I can say actually yeah, I do see an improvement on it. Not so much so, the first product, but this one I'll go, actually, if you can get inside, yeah, that is something that where they've thought about it and it actually is very useful if you need to. Okay, fair enough. I think it's, I think it's all right, but um, uh, and it's, it's probably as good as... I don't see that and think, oh, God, I want that. Oh, man, I'd love that. But it would absolutely be on the shortlist if I was buying a KH ke uh, keeper at the moment, a cage tester at the moment. But I want to know how much it costs. If it's around the eight hundred quid mark, it's on the list. And yeah. actually, I do like that it's 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 slimline, so it will sit out of the way nicely in your cabinet. So not in your cabinet; it's, it's going to go in your living room. <laughs> in your living room, obviously, on the book. See, my tank, my tank is in my well. When I get my tank back, it's going to be in my kitchen. But I'm going to have that in my living room anyway because that's where they say you can have it. I just have really, really long tubes. Yeah, you're, well, that's you're that's distracted, you're to... which is why you weren't I... laughing. Uh, you said or, or it just wasn't stuff. funny what, what did you say i do <laughs> this all the time I, re I read comments whilst you're telling jokes <laughs> and no, i don't I laugh i know so, um but also you know, this can test this can test one at one once every, once every hour on the hour dumb overpriced for one test what a eh? oh uh, they're, they're saying this i think they're talking to other people Oh, are they? I thought they were saying it's overpriced for just doing alkalinity in comparison. Oh, to possibly, yeah. It can control alkalinity as well. It's going back to our conversation earlier. It's got a uh, spare dosing pump for that. Yeah. Personally, I don't want that. Um, but the, the, to be fair, it, like a thousand pounds or you know that kind of you know six to eight, six hundred to a thousand pounds is what these cost. Yeah. That is crazy money to do. What if you get Hannah Checker? It takes what thirty seconds. Super fast. Yeah. It's stupid money. Yeah, but, I, but it's like. I've got a robot Hoover. This is like me bragging yeah. about my robot Hoover. <laughs> and I, but look, what I'm trying to say is that robot Hoover costs a lot of money. It was like 900 pounds mm. that Hoover, but I use it every day because I love it, and exactly. it's almost like it gives me satisfaction. It's also like a friend for me. Uh, <laughs> but, but put a little Alexa on it, and so you can talk to me as it goes. That is around. so true. <laughs> but I never. I, let's put it this way: I never Hoover my house every single day when I had my own Hoover, and it's exactly the same thing. You Completely. will 
you will um you will test alkalinity every day if you don't have to do it yourself whereas you might only do yeah. it once a week or once every two weeks if you don't absolutely and in terms of alkalinity monitors generally answering my three questions do i want it maybe will it improve my reef yes it will i think an alkalinity monitor if you don't have yeah, one yeah. has certainly at least got the potential to improve improve your reef because i used to test once a week you know if i'm if i'm lying <laughs> as, as often as regularly as i did it was once a week yeah. sometimes i'd leave it for a month or two months or whatever so i think they are fantastic and they are well worth the money yeah um, but they're expensive yeah and in answer um, to the question what else can you buy with 900 pounds you can buy a robot hoover that you use every day there you go. it's bloody exactly. brilliant <laughs> so there so, you um, go i want one for upstairs as well i'm not even joking because you can't use it downstairs you can't it has you can't it obviously won't walk up the stairs so i want one you'll just have to end up downstairs. doing the stairs yourself won't we i know <laughs> i know anyway, anyway so that that is the uh that is the the uh, kamoa kh carer so next up is something uh, that sounds like a, an octopus from uh, the, 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 the briny deep. It's the Coral View, sorry, the Hydros Kraken. Kraken. This, I don't, you said you like this. I'm not really sure what it does. So. All right. Let, let me tell you what it does. Then. So this is, this is, this is as much as I know about it. Okay. So this effectively is a, a, a big, one big power supply for up to, up to 12 devices, eight main devices, and then four smaller devices like cabinet lights, that sort of thing. But basically, this will replace eight power supplies and, and eight plugs on your tank. So you might have uh, eight, uh, what are they called, uh, power heads, and you can yeah. plug them all into this. And it's, um, let me just pull myself back up on screen. It's kind of that big-ish, uh, less than a foot long. And so that then means you can strip out eight uh, lengths of cable, those little power bricks, um, you can strip them out and you don't, you're not suddenly, you, you only need one plug socket instead of eight. Yeah. Uh, what, you and can put all of those eight things through one plug socket. It has a four, it, about, it takes about 500 watts. So you couldn't put your heater in it yeah. and you might not be able to put lights in it, but basically things like How lights is. maybe, but, but as, up to, as long as your maximum, as long as the eight, the total of all these eight things doesn't uh, exceed uh, 500 watts, you can plug them all into that. And secondly, you can also plug a battery into it, so it's a battery backup, and yeah. you can you can tell it because in theory, so if your power goes off, in theory it would just be running all those eight devices which you don't want, but you can tell it if power goes off, just do port number two or port number six, so you could have it so it just does your return pump, or it just does your power head, more likely power head. So it's an alternative to a, a to a, an ecotech battery backup. I am um, as well. I, I do see the appeal now. So when when you obviously said originally, I was like not really sure. But you have to remember, I am still. I have to think like a normal reefer because I have seventy plug sockets in for the coral farm. So that's not going to work yeah, for yeah. me if yeah, you see yeah, what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> and they're and they're all in the Maybe roof. Maybe it's perfect for you. Oh, they're in the roof. Yeah, fair enough. So you don't see them anyway. So it, it's almost like it doesn't really matter. Um, but for someone who's got a cabinet that wants to like you have a limited sort of area i would i understand why they would that could be very very useful because those blocks those bricks are like that aren't they like the yeah, power they're bloody, yeah pain in the ass and they've all got a, a meter of cable in them and yeah. when you add up so i have 32 plugs used in use on my main tank 32 plugs i went down to try to free one up the other day i managed to free one up with a non-essential but yeah. really, it's my it's my uh, pH monitor, and I want to plug that back in. How many plugs did you say? Thirty two. That's what plugs. I thought you said, and I was like, <laughs> no, 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 that can't. How can yeah. you have thirty two plugs on one tank? It's crazy. But it's, I've got one, two, I've got six plugs for lights. <laughs> Seven, in fact, no, six. I six. have so I have seventy above the ceiling in the <laughs> coral farm, and I think I have about. 16 below the ceiling so how have you right. got how have you got 30? yeah actually, i've got half as many as you but it, it, i just have i've just got all that stuff on it and i i could probably thin it out a bit but for me having that would be really useful because then i can ditch an entire power strip with eight eight plugs on it and there's there, there are other benefits to this as well so it's a it's a, a it, so they, they say this in in all the videos about it they say they make a big point of it me it's a mean well power supply and 
as hobbyists, we're, we're trained to, to think that mean well is good quality. Whether it is or not, I've got no idea, but I'm pretty sure that I <laughs> yeah. think I think it is. I think I don't think I've, that's ne- I've never heard of it, so I will just have you not. Okay, so mean, mean well are known in the hobby as, as good quality power supplies. Yeah, and if you if you watch so GHL use mean well power supplies as an example. Okay, yeah, and they 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 tend to use good quality hardware. But anyway, this is like mean well do three grades: the consumer grade, which is the little pa- the black power bricks. Yeah. The industrial grade and then the medical grade. Medical grade is I don't want this, this to die, otherwise I lose my life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and they're very expensive. But this this uses an industrial grade one, so it's twice. So it's it's half as likely to fail as a consumer grade. So therefore, you've got eight power supplies that you're getting rid of that are, yeah. are less likely to fail. Power supply is probably the most likely thing to fail on any piece of equipment. It's interesting. It's still, a, still a low likelihood. Yeah. But uh, over any length of time, if you've got a tank for a long time, it'll fail. So yeah, it improves I, I have had one fail. Oh, sorry, I'm yeah. sorry, but I, ha- I have had no, one. No. I remember on my thousand liter tank because I replaced the power pack and it was fine. But um, and I have had them overheat in the coral farm, and then you'll just unplug them and then plug them back in, and they're fine. Now, that could be, that could be like the start of a fire or something, for all I know. Um, yeah. But. <laughs> Well, I don't know if they definitely overheated. You just go up there and then one's got a red light on it and you unplug it and plug it back in. It's fine. Because it was since when did a red light ever mean anything bad? Yeah, just don't don't worry about fixing it. Just turn it off and on again. And then, it know, worked. If, if your house burns down, well, you know, you're insured. So. <laughs> Plus it's not, it's the coral farm's not, not quite attached to my house. So it'll burn my well, neighbor's house there's down There's a load of water it there. It'll put, it'll put the fire out. It's a spring That's self sprinkler system. <laughs> that is true. That is true. But, but anyway, um, so going back to this, and I think this is a really good bit of kit. I love the idea of having um, eight power supplies taken out and potentially 12, in fact, if you're using the four smaller ones. Yeah. Um, and the, the fact that, the, that it's a more reliable power supply, I don't really care, to be honest. It's a nice bonus. I think it's cool, but I wouldn't buy it because of that. Yeah. Um, but the battery backup, I think, is really cool because really – the, the 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 more or less the only option is is the EK Tech one at the moment battery backup. There's a there's a there's yeah, a yeah. there's another one ice cap, but no one really uses it. So to have something else, that uh, another option I think is really cool. Yeah. However, the, the, I did see there's some I don't understand volts, amps, watts, and all that sort of stuff. But apparently it won't work with all pumps, but it will work with things like um, vectors, but uh, and and MP40s. But it won't work with all pumps. I don't really understand the battery side of it to be honest. The, the electric side of it. Someone put You're in the laughing. comment that they have 54 on a five-foot tank. <laughs> that can't possibly be true. I can well believe it. 32 on a four-foot tank for me. Yeah, but what are you doing with them? And where are all your plug sockets? <laughs> I've got well, so I've got five. Uh, I've got five um, uh, power heads. I've got three return pumps. I've got six lights. <laughs> so that's the bulk of it, basically. Yeah, but I've got 36 lights on the coral farm. I still don't use half of what I, I only use double of what you use. I'll do it. I'll do it. We'll do another video where we just, where well, I show you my, my cabinet and you just take the mick out of uh, me, me having stuff I don't need. <laughs> I, I have never, ever, ever shown above the, the coral mm, farm exclusive. ever because <laughs> people will be like, that is definitely a fire hazard. <laughs> So I just, I just didn't want to deal with the comment section of just, right. of just loads and loads of people because there's just wires and wires and wires and wires and ba- and obviously all those packs for everything. So oh look, we've just had something. Oh, in the thing. right, quick, block best, it, block no, it. No, no, I it. need to know what the best adult data is. Les, Les, where are you? <laughs> I've blocked it though. We're done. Uh, um, one second, I'll just uh, write that down for later. I know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, what was I going to say? Um, so, okay, so go back to this then. So that that's what that is. Uh, how much? And this is the the bad thing about this is it's not available in the UK, and it's not it's it's coming out next uh, early next year, I think. It's yeah. not available in the UK, and it's not on the horizon. So, whilst I think it's really cool, there's zero prospects of me getting hold of one of these for two years at, at the least, I would guess. So, Plus, I, I think the power's different here. I think that was exactly. the issue that Apex had, which means they will will probably have to compl- like redesign it to, for us. Exactly. To so, so if they if they do ever bring it out, they'll have to redesign it. So it's years away from coming to the UK. Yeah. But how much do you, if that was in pounds, how much do you think that would cost? Again, I don't know. I don't even know what it would That's be in dollars. Great power supply. It's battery backup. Well, I know that I think the battery backup is like a hundred pounds for a start. Um, 
and the rest. Look at all. Oh, look at look how fancy it is. Look at all these lights. It does have LEDs, a lot of LEDs, uh, so that does make it look expensive. It's got a picture. Got a picture of a kraken on it. I've got. I'm gonna say. Look, just pure, this is just a stab in the dark because I've never even seen one of these before, so I have no idea. I'm gonna say five hundred dollars, but it could be less. It could be more. I have no idea. Not far off. Six hundred dollars. <laughs> okay. Which so, I think that's. that's so yeah. far, in just those three products, we could buy a really cheap car. <laughs> if you yeah, didn't have exactly. a car, you could buy a but cheap car. <laughs> we, we are we are desensitized to, to, to the price of things, to be fair. You, you're absolutely right. But I think $600 is a reasonable price for that, especially That's given it, it acts as a battery backup. Especially consider how much you've spent on your tank in the last four years. <laughs> That's like, yeah. it's like a drop in the ocean by this point. <laughs> I'm trying to wind that down a bit. <laughs> but it's not working. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so uh, and actually, so this is one point that Roly makes. It's built, Roly built uh, his or her own uh, battery backup, way cheaper and much more long lasting. That is, and that is the way to do it. You can build your own battery backup using lithium ion batteries as well. So they're much much bigger. Uh, they're not very big and they're they're cheap and they'll last for hours on end. Yeah. But I I like to have a crack at DIY and that sort of thing. Yeah. I wouldn't fancy my chances of bat of building a battery backup. <laughs> I can and barely change. Might... Yeah, you can barely I can barely change the batteries in the remote. Okay. Let alone yeah, yeah, make, yeah. make a battery backup. <laughs> but if it, yeah, so so there's no way I'm ever going to do that. Um, but if you if you're a handy DIYer and an electric, and if you know a bit about if you know your amp from your elbow, yeah. um, then come do uh, it for us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Then it's, it's worth doing. Um, but there we go. Unless you got it, nice one. Cheers, mate. Um, so there we oh actually hang on i believe the kraken will retail 900 to a thousand so i watched two videos on this yeah. uh I, I forgot what the first price said i had it in mind as 800 but then the one i watched yesterday it said 600 dollars. so maybe and this was from carlos from coral view maybe he misspoke but anyway if it's 600 dollars, i think that's good and yeah. actually just is the other thing so uh, you can't use a lithium battery it has to be lead acid I, i've seen a bit of fuss about this saying oh yeah that's so ancient you must have lithium but i don't really see the issue with that because like the it a lithium lithium and lithium phosphate are better because they're smaller so therefore you can get longer hours out of them and all that sort of stuff but the the vortex battery backup is lead acid and it's heavy and bulky the old thing and i prefer it to be lighter and last longer but it lasts long enough so i don't think that for me that's a non-issue i think it would be better if it was smaller and lasted longer but it doesn't need to yeah but anyway, don't limit Alex's spending. He's single-handedly propping up LFSs during these tough times. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't what I was laughing about. What were you laughing at? It was, uh, I can't remember exactly what you said. You said it would be better if it was smaller and lasted longer. I thought, many women have said uh, that to me. <laughs> so, and when I say many, I mean no women have said that to me. <laughs> no. <laughs> no smut, Ryan. I've told you no smut. Yeah, I always get in trouble. I always get in trouble at the end of the live streams when Alex tells me off afterwards. For, yeah, for, uh, I have to. I have to spank him if he gets. Uh, oh God, answer. definitely not. <laughs> um, Roly's going to make uh, a video on her, on his or her channel. Are you a, a bloke or a girl, by the way? I always, I always. Roly's refront sounds female to me, but I, I think you're probably male. Anyway, uh, you're a former electronic tech in a former life. Anybody can do it. I would. I've never seen a really clear video on how to make a battery backup, one that I've understood because I'm a numpty. So if you can make one, mm, I'm on board with that. Um, <laughs> But there you go. So uh, write that down in your board, Ryan. Write Lord. what down? Um, I think Rolly's a bloke. Um, the spanking thing, uh, I'm guessing. But <laughs> cheers, uh, Rolly. Um, anyway, so there we go. So that's uh, that is the Hydron Hydros Kraken. There were, I don't know, three or four other things from Hydros as well that looked quite interesting. But they're not in the UK, and so I just kind of was like, mm, not really that bothered. Yeah, yeah. Um, there was one thing that we, it isolates a, a salinity probe, so it keeps it away from electrical interference. Yeah. Um, but I wasn't that fussed about it, to be honest. Yeah. Um, but there were some there were some other things that looked cool, but I just didn't look at them because, like I say, UK. So, uh, what else have we got going on? I wish that you could use a hydros dosing pump without the controller. That's the problem. Ah, oh, interesting. Uh, I'm running uh, into it. it. Seems all the all the great doses have to be used with a certain controller. Yeah, so that that bugged me about uh, the Neptune DOS. I wanted to buy a Neptune DOS at one point, but you can't run it without uh, an Apex, and I don't want to have an Apex at the moment. Yeah, 
Yeah, um, it's a bit limiting if you ha- if you have to have that. With the, with the GHL, you can get a standalone doser that yeah, doesn't, so you don't need yeah. the other stuff. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So uh, anyway, someone mentioned Wi-Fi plugs. I've used them for feed mode programs, etc. But be careful, as sometimes I found they would default to off after a remote a router reboot. Excellent. All right. Anyway, so the next one is, and this is the one that you liked, Ryan. Uh, this is the one that I think is most interesting. I am not sure. I have some, I'd like to see it working. I have some Ooh, interest. It's, it looks massive, but is it bigger than a normal protein? Thanks very much. So, um, it, so, this is, so this is, for a start, right, what is it then? <laughs> it's one and that, that's exactly <laughs> what I mean. And also, this is the, of all the things, this is probably the most innovative, but I'm still skeptical. It's also pretty cheap, if that's the price of it. Oh, bollocks. I meant to hide the price. No, don't. Don't look at the price, people, even though he's put don't on the screen. The price. Don't look at the price. Too I'm late holding now. my hand up to the screen like I'm trying to yes. block it. <laughs> that definitely um, worked for everyone. No, for right, no well, one but you. <laughs> we've all seen what the price is. <laughs> what yeah. the F is that? Actually, let um, people guess what it is first in the comments, because what is that? Well, it, it, it says, it, it says what it is on it. that screenshot. They didn't see okay. it. I'll tell you what. In that case, let's go back to, to this thing. So this doesn't have the price and this, oh, hello, why are you there? This doesn't have the price and it doesn't say what it is, kind of. No, it doesn't. Right. It doesn't, but in the background, it could be any of those things. Shh, don't <laughs> tell people, Ryan. Um, okay, uh, all the description that Ryan gave away earlier. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Ryan. Oh, it says protein skim on it for Heaven's sake. <laughs> all right. We're gonna, anyway, we're gonna can anyone, with all is. those clues, does anyone not know what it is? tell you what it is. It is a self-scheming, self-scheming, self-cleaning protein skimmer. I don't agree it's a stupid gimmick, but it's, it's a self scheme, uh, self-cleaning protein skimmer. Now, there's a couple of things with this. So uh, this is this is what it looks like. It's a funny shape. So this, we're, we're used to seeing tube shaped um like wine bottle shaped protein skimmers aren't we and this is yeah, yeah. just a block this is a square and i wonder about that because i think mm, if surely to goodness if um if a square or rectangle was a way to go everybody would be using rectangles so that makes me think it's it might be less effective as a protein skimmer and i but wonder they- about that there's a reason I think that they turn them into a cone. It's about concentrating the bubbles up to mm. a, a point. So I haven't seen wh- how that works with the bubbles. Um, I I had an, an old Dell Tech hang on the back one, which was. Um, do you remember? Are you smiling because you know what? Oh yeah. No, because you're getting you banned. Ban me? You can't ban. I'll mo- ban you. <laughs> He's the <a> moderator. <laughs> well, okay, you can ban me then. Okay. Um, the the, the Dell Tech one, which I had, which was a hang on the back one. Um, yep. was rubbish <laughs> and Deltek are known for making very good protein skimmers but it was a square one and obviously yeah, okay. when anything that's hang on the back has not really been designed it's been designed compressed to fit within the gap behind the tank or on the mm. side if you see what I mean so it's not designed with an unlimited amount of freedom like a normal protein skimmer yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I, I, it definitely didn't it was the best hang on the back one at the time but I don't think it worked the same as a normal protein skimmer. And thinking about it, there are lots of um, skimmers that are that, like that built in, like the Red Sea one in the Red Sea Max, that's a little square or rectangle shape. Yeah. And I think the same, the, the, the Fluva one is square. So maybe it does work. But and I think maybe the, the reason that this, and I'm sure they thought about that, maybe the reason that this isn't affected by that is the reason, is the, 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 the innovative thing about it. So it's self-cleaning. So it looks like a, a filter roller. Yeah. And that's because the filter roller turns and pulls out the skimmer gunk and maybe that maybe because so with this then it doesn't need to push the gunk out into up a cone into a cup it just needs to push it up to the bottom of the 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 filter roller so maybe that's why it doesn't matter that it's square rectangle not not circular can i see the video again i'm just just interested in seeing if i can see where where the water actually goes up into if you the problem with this video, by this is so that there's some. This is this is a couple of other bits attached to it. It's got optional attachments yeah, to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So this it's not actually as big as this, but anyway. In fact, the, the, what we're looking at now is 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 not. That's an actual filter roller with a, an algae scrubber built in. The protein skimmer is on the right. So I'm going to skip forward. Ah, oh, mate, stop telling us about that. You're ruining <laughs> my live stream. Heaven's sake. 
Yeah, oh, we're back. We're back to a- amateur hour. That guy's ruined it. He's an amateur. <laughs> <laughs> that, that guy's ruined it. <laughs> Yeah, what, what an idiot! Yeah. Um, but anyway, so so it's a it, so there there are two parts to it. Here we go. I'll, I'll sh- I can't show you the video, but I'll show you that the picture. Yeah, yeah. So what can't what can't you see where it goes in? What goes I, in? I just was interested to in see roughly where the see if you, I could try and work out how it worked, but you can't really see from that picture. The the um the reason I'm kind of interesting is because so with my skimmer. When I clean it once a week, there is a thick, probably good half centimeter, like just thing of crud around the outside, around the circle, like the, yeah, the yeah, inner, yeah. inner cup. So, if you think about a normal, um, what is it? A normal filter roller. Mm-hmm. They are notorious for being really bad at first for getting through the rolls. I, yeah. You've got one. When you first did it, I bet you went through the first roll really quickly. And then gradually you go through them slower, don't you? My current one, I didn't. But that's because I'd had a filter roll on for ages. So, yeah, the first one, the next filter. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. So with that, though, in theory, you're going to be taking roughly the same amount out every week, no matter what. It's... So I just wonder if it's going to like just blast through those filters. Maybe, yeah. I think that I've got a feeling they were quite cheap. I might have heard that somewhere. I don't think I've seen it, but I think they said that. And actually, I saw somewhere. I think this was on Instagram. I saw that you can clean it. Oh, 23 quid. That's not that cheap. But I saw that. Uh, that apparently that would bankrupt me. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Apparently, you can clean it. I don't think I'd want to clean it, but apparently you can clean it. But anyway. Um, so, the, so the idea of it is basically it stops you emptying your skimmer cup. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Look, I, I go on. No, no, I'll let you go first. The ones I always interrupt you, don't I? <laughs> you do actually. Yeah, you need to know your place, Ryan. Les Bally. Yeah, yeah um, true. But I think uh, I think that's cool. And again, this is a bit of an innovation, and they're doing something <laughs> different. I think it's a bit weird, <laughs> but I like it. But yeah. I don't think so. My three questions: Do I want it? Mm, I don't know. I don't empty my skimmer cup very often. I empty it once a month and clean it once a month because I'm an animal. Um, and, you know, I, I, don't, I don't play by anyone's rules. I only play by my own rules because I'm a lone wolf. So, you know, clearly I'm a, re- I'm a rebel, Ryan. You are like the I least run. lone wolf rebel there is, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I know. But, As you um, sit here talking about fish tanks. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. But so I, 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 that to me, I like the idea of it, but I don't think I want it. 467 quid it was when i checked the other day it was 500 quid and i think they said it was 500 dollars. that's a quite expensive for a protein skimmer let me see 100 gallons uh, 100 gallon aquarium between 100 and 200 gallon aquarium so it's quite expensive for a, for a, a, a skimmer but it's not mega yeah. expensive is that given that it does 220 uh maybe nice yeah uh i think nice 160 maybe google it the 220 is 125 Oh, that's gallons. That's 500 gallons. liters. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's, so yeah, that's, that's the same. Equipment. How much is that? Okay. 535. Really? Bloody hell. Okay, so it's cheap. <laughs> actually, well, actually, uh, there's although... another one here. There's 624, so. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so actually, that's I thought that was um, a little bit expensive, but not unreasonably expensive, but it turns out it's probably fairly priced. That's quite good. Um, all right, so in that case, it's reasonably priced for, for what it is. Yeah. Um, do I want it? Uh, is it good value? Probably yes. Um, I think it's cool, but I want to see. I want to see other people using this. This is not something that I think oh, I have to have that. This is something that I think, hmm, maybe. But I want to see other people because it might. I could be. It's the sort of thing that I could be persuaded that it's awesome and I really do want it. But at the moment, I look at it and think, cool, like it. Let me let me see some videos on it, basically. Yeah, yeah. A telegram has got one. Does he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's interesting because so, I'll be interested to see what he says. Because obviously, I know, we, we obviously know him. So, yeah. So he's 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 posting stuff on Instagram at the moment, and I presume he'll make a video at some point. So I'll reserve judgment until then. At the moment, I think it's cool and I like the idea, but I'm not. It doesn't give me a, uh, you know, the the fuzzy. A what? A what? A what? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't 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 make me feel kind of funny like when you used to climb the rope in gym class. Well, I just, I, I used to skip gym class, so I don't know what that means. <laughs> um, <laughs> so. uh, we'll move on. The other thing with this is, 
So this is a this, there's there's a second product. So the first one is the, the skimmer that with the self cleaning roller, um, yeah. which is potentially quite cool. The other thing they did they've built an algae scrubber. Algae scrubbers are outrageously expensive. Whenever I've looked at them, they yeah. I think they're at least a million pounds, maybe two million. <laughs> um, they are ruinously expensive for what they are. It's just a like a, a few bits of piping and a, an LED light, um, but. Yeah. smarter reefs have developed one and it's got it's got a built-in um filter roller now this is not it, it doesn't feel the filter roller doesn't work the same way as the skimmer does it is literally yeah. a filter roller it passes through the filter roller like any normal filter roller yeah, yeah and then yeah. It, then it goes into a um an algae scrubber and for that that is 400 according to this and this is pre-production so this is not what it's going to look like because that yeah. looks a bit janky although don't suppose it really matters and it's quite it's, it's quite neat neat size if that's 500 quid for a for an algae scrubber and filter roller mm, that's pretty decent that's pretty tasty value to me i just googled the pax bellum which is the, the only other one that i sort of was like well known that i know of and that's uh where was it 500 and something well, yeah 549 how have that's, these that's things the right got thought. so expensive I know. Uh, just a yeah. normal tank these days which must be like thousands See, my first tank literally cost four hundred pounds, and I basically got everything I needed. Yeah, yeah, it's got crazy. So the, the one I was thinking of, there's a clear water scrubber, and it's a nice piece of kit, eight hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, just this. Like, I, I look, I accept that it's you get you're that you're getting two products basically in one with that. Um, yeah. But I'd love to. I'd love for the coral farm to be much bigger so that I could have. Um, how do I? So you could like cl clearly have an algae scrubber, almost like on display, so you can see it rather than be like tucked under somewhere. Yeah, for sure. There's a there's a few things like that that I'd be quite interested in in having on display, just because they're sort of interesting to look at, and you could see the progression. It might be a novelty. It might only work for like yeah, your your mm. your your favorite adult dating sites. Back, let's do it. Block him. Uh, block. Oh, well, there's block, three of them. Block, like, block. They really want to get on the stream block. this time. <laughs> I've done it. I've blocked him. It's all right. I don't um, get any of that. It must be all the smut you look at on your computer. Because I don't. When I live stream, no one, no one's interested enough to put any adult dating sites on there. Yeah, you just get foot fetish stuff, don't you? Say. So. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I told you not to mention that on the strings. <laughs> anyway, we're digressing. So this, so so for five hundred quid, I think that is good value. Um, yeah. I don't want an algae scrubber, really. I think it's the sort of thing that if I got one, I might love it, but I don't want it. And uh, uh, and do what and the other thing with this is so with these with these um all this stuff that they've got this is all this is a, this is a filter roller you bring your own smart one mm -hmm. uh, this is this is a filter roller and uh, an algae scrubber yeah and it also that as part of this you can bundle the skimmer in so they're all basically connected all together and you can get a skimmer and an algae scrubber and a filter roller for a thousand pounds basically which is good good price but. Yeah. If you put that on your tank when you first set it up, that's too much. It's never going <laughs> to have really, any like nutrients. No. <laughs> Those are the sorts of filters you need one at a time. Yeah. So it, that's if if you if you're running an existing tank and you're replacing a filter roller, fair enough. But um, but I think that I think that's cool. I think that is a bit innovative, and I like it. Yeah, I, as I said, I'd be interested in seeing it work. Definitely. Uh, I'd be interested in how long the rolls are there for. Does it smell? Is it easier than what I'm doing at the moment? Because obviously mine drain automatically. So I clean them once a week, but I don't have to like take the actual, like I don't have to like carry the water, you know, as it spills everywhere. Cause I, I, I like how I act as if you know, I'm drunk while I'm emptying them, <laughs> but you know what I mean? It's um, yeah, it's, I, I just wonder how you, it, how much so if i when i say if when i get the tank in the um in the house again i'm just gonna drill a hole in the wall and i'm just gonna let it just dump on the grass outside the skim i don't care because it's it's in part that like i've got a bit down the side of my house that i never ever go down and you don't you don't no one sees it or anything it's just like a like a dead piece of land so i might as well just mm. have it drain out there and then just not worry about it that's what mm. i think that i'll do for that one rather than something like this but Fair each enough. to their own and this is this is a good point. It's a skimmer with a lifelong subscription fee for the filter rolls. Yes. And if, yeah. So I get through. I get on my filter roller. I get through one a month, almost you know to the day basically. And I I've uh, what are they 
10, 15 quid, 15 quid each. So, and these, these are 23 pounds. If you, if you had to change them every month, mm, that's reducing yeah. the value yeah. proposition for me. Well, look at, just work out the yearly cost. All of a sudden it's like 250 or 260 something, isn't it? But then this is, if it stops you changing your, um, I don't think that's the sort of thing. I, it doesn't necessarily appeal to me. I'll see what, I'll see what um, Telegram thinks of it and, and have a proper look around it. But yeah. if that stopped me, if I was changing my, cleaning my skimmer cup every week and this stopped me doing that, 23 quid a month, I think that's, you don't, you're not. You thinking, have too much I'm money. Serious. If you're seriously well, considering that. <laughs> I'm not seriously considering it, but I'm just, I'm, I'm talking about, this isn't necessarily for me. This is uh, like just generally what I think of it. I don't think that's, I'd, I'd like it to last longer than a month. I have to say a month I... would be a little bit much. I think that I'm now actually see. I I had hope for this product. This was the one I thought I'd like the most, and now that I know it cost twenty three pounds for the filter roll, for the roll, yeah, it's almost like I actually feel that I'm liking it less because if you work it out and it is a month, if it is a month, which you assume that probably would be the best case scenario, considering the shit that comes out of my protein skimmer, <laughs> um, it's it it is um it's basically a subscription of two hundred sixty pounds a year. Wait, or yeah. zero pounds and clean it yourself and pour it down the sink. So it doesn't say how long it lasts. I think a month is probably fair to, to assume. But um, but yeah, I, this is the sort of thing that you don't know until people start testing it and stuff, do you? But uh, I'm just going to scroll down through the description and see if it does say actually. Because I think it said it was 30 meters. Oh, here we go. No, it does. Fleece will last three months or more. Three months, that's that's better. That is better. Well, obviously. That is better. So three months, that makes it £100 a year rather than... See, this is the problem when we talk about things we don't know about because we're like, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. everyone's listening to this. Yeah. This will have obviously quite a few views yeah. and we're going, it will only last a month. And everyone's going... Smarter <laughs> reason they're going, no, it lasts three months. Don't, yeah. you're ruining my yeah. product. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. Look, if it it is better and it makes it £100 a year, but would I rather have £100 in my, in my bank and clean it myself how it, it works out if you have to clean it 52 times it works out two pounds of clean it's, it's a I, difficult I, one the thing is maintenance is you pay any money to to reduce maintenance maintenance is one of those things yeah. that i would pay endless money to if, if you could say to me alex you no longer have to do any other maintenance in your life ever again i would hand over you can have my my salary every month i don't want it deal just i will come maintenance. i will take your salary and i will come and maintain your tank for you <laughs> no 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 you've got to mow my lawn you've got to service my car you've got to pump the tires up you've got to cut my uh my bush my hedges hello i've got to cut your bush <laughs> not I, know. Legs. I am not cutting your bush <laughs> you've got to hoover my house you've got to iron my clothes i mean like what i'm saying is generally in life i hate maintenance and with yeah. the aquarium it's no different and maintenance, you do need to do it, and you get out what you put in with maintenance. Challenge so I, accepted. You will get so a get slave some... for your <laughs> for how much you earn. Definitely, I accept. Will you when wear you want a, me to a move in, I'll uniform. brush your teeth for you. Uh, <laughs> I'll shine you your a... head. <laughs> hey. Will you wear a nurse's uniform whilst you're doing this? Um, no, I'm not wearing a nurse's uniform. I'll definitely wear one of those <laughs> maid uniforms. You know, the black ones with the pinning. Little, little lacy one, yeah. Yeah. This is getting worse. People are going to think we are a couple. Prestige Reef Dog Show, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Very professional. Um, I've uh, I've run. I've lost track of the chat. I was trying to catch up with it, but um, where are we going? Uh, filter rise consistent starts doing. I'm like, Sammy D has written, written Skimmer Locker, and I I don't know what that's about. I re I'm just interested. I recognise the name for some reason, but. Skimmer locker. Oh yeah, that's um. There's is there's a isn't there like an overflow container? I'm gonna Google it. Skimmer that's locker. A very good point, point, actually. I'm sure I've heard. Oh yes, that's it's done by um a vast marine. A vast and, skimmer locker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it's, a, it's I think it's a basically about it's just a place so that you can just fill it up with your skim eight and then just empty it less. That's that's but, different though. <laughs> yes, this isn't about this isn't about <clears throat> emptying your skim eight less. This is about keeping your your uh, protein skimmer clean so it's efficient exactly that's so exactly it's, what i was going to say two different things yeah so 
this one, I, I don't know. I think I think it's cool that there's a new design and there hasn't been much innovation in skimmers. So that's a good thing. I don't think it's unreasonably priced, although it is crazy that uh, 500 quid um, for a, a filter isn't um, isn't unreasonable. Um, but I think that's all right. <clears throat> well, yeah, if it's two pounds a clean, I'll give you that. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll say I think people will pay that for a, for to not have to do it. Exactamente. Okie dokie. Uh, so the next one, and this is the final one. Are you excited for the final one? Uh, if this, you might have another one if you, if unless this is the one that I told you. Ooh, this is not the one you told me. Oh, and well, we, we come back. And we have two more. <laughs> oh, no, this is, I'm going to be, it's boots on the other foot. I'm going to be the first impression guy now. So, well, I still don't know what, much about it. I just assumed about it. So, anyway, let's do the last one. What is the one thing you're a fan of Hannah testers, right? We all are. Yes. What is the one thing you would want Hannah testers to do that they don't currently do? That's too broad a question. You're not going to answer what that's the way a, I think. That's an interesting <laughs> question because they do. I'm trying to think of all the ones they do. They do calcium. They do phosphate. They do magnesium nitrate. They do ammonia. Ouch. I don't know if they do nitrate, but that wouldn't be what you'd think I'd want. So I don't know why you'd do that. It will be like iodine or something like that. Uh, no, 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 no. So I don't mean what test kit is missing. What oh. would you want them to do that they don't currently do? And this is a really bad question because you're not going to give me the answer I'm looking for. <laughs> What test, what parameter I would want them to test? They no. don't. Do you know what? I'm, I'm just going to tell you what it is. <laughs> what Why I'm trying to play say this is, game. <laughs> I know it was it was a bad game. Um, oh, I've just realised I didn't um, post asking uh, for for member questions before the stream. Um, never mind. Uh, I'll do that next week. Uh, so Alex what doesn't I care about say, his members. Just everyone who's a member. Just so you know, he doesn't care. Un abrazo, big hug. Come on, give me a cuddle, <laughs> you guys. Come on. Um, no one else, you know, no one else. No, not you, Ryan. You don't get one. You no, get, I'm not a member. Just just the members. Come on. Uh, before anyway. You, before you say this, I just want to mention mm -hmm. something. Um, and I was actually going to do this, and I will give it back to you anyway. Um, you gave me a super chat last week. And I, I was going to I was going to send it back to you now. <laughs> but because, And the reason I was going to send it back to you now was because whatever the super chat says, I can get you to say but I couldn't think of what I'd want you to say. So you're not going to get it right now, but you will get it in the future. But okay. now, now, just so everyone knows, I am not saying this because I actually get any of it because I genuinely don't. But I think that, and, and I don't want Alex to give me anything either. I think Alex does a bloody brilliant job. He is here every week, every single week. And there are a lot of people that are here every single week. And I see other um, people that are doing live streams. You might not want me to say this, but I see other people doing live streams and they get super chats all the time and Alex never well, gets them. And I wonder if it's because I'm here. <laughs> probably. But, yeah. You're ruining it. But, that, but so with, with go on. Well, I was just like, I don't think, and I promise you, this isn't for me. This is completely for you. And I think, and if people don't do this now, you are busters basically. <laughs> but I think that, um, I think people should know about the amount of effort you put into your channel because you put a lot more effort into your channel than I do. And... The only thing I'll say is that I've watched a couple of our live streams recently and we we, not, we normally spend a good 10% of it complaining about how hard it is making videos and yeah. how hard done by we are. Yeah, we are so, hard done by. So, so I, people should listen. But if we, and if we start playing the game where I leave a super chat for you, then you give it back to me. All that happens is YouTube gets like 50% of that. So we're just doing the... We're just filling the pockets of YouTube, so. Oh, that's true. Okay, fine. You're not getting it back. But I did what I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't, as I, I wanted to, there's two things that I've always wanted to do on our live streams. One of them. Oh my God, what is I it? I can't tell you what it is <laughs> because it will ruin it if I do. And I'm just trying to work out how I can actually implement it without you realizing. And the other thing is I want, I wanted to send you a super chat with something just outrageous that you have to say. <laughs> <laughs> i don't have to say it to be fair. oh well I'm, I'm not sending it then <laughs> well you won't know until i say it. anyway let's move on so the, going yes. back to the so this what what i was the question i was trying to ask you is yeah is there a feature you would like to add to the existing hana checkers not another parameter to test for but is there a feature you'd like to add is so there the a reason i just check that you're talking about no there you go yeah. your first super <laughs> chats hey i don't know because Ryan is here. <laughs> there you go. I will take that because I'm here. So there's your first one. You're going to be Thank rich by the end of this night. That's just the start. We'll we'll move on. Okay. So so and my question about the the Hannah uh, checker is is we'll forget the forget the question. 
This what what Hannah have brought out is a new product. Yes. That monitors salinity, temperature, and pH. Ooh. But you say, right, oh, so I'm this... not that interested. <laughs> All right. Well, you bear with me. We'll, we'll, I will we'll, tell you I'll... why. And the reason why is because you probably still have to calibrate it all the time. Of course. Of course. Yeah. So this is, this is first off then, this is it. Right. And this is, uh, uh, oh, hang on. Presented by Mark Callahan, Mr. Saltwater Tank. So it's, it's a bit Hannah in that it's, it looks functional, doesn't it? And they, yes. Hannah's stuff is generally just simple design. There's no frills with it. It's not, they don't have the Ecotech flair where it looks yeah. like a sexy bit of kit, um, but it does work to be fair. Uh, and this then, so this is, oh, for heaven's sake, stop clicking on that button. Right, so. You've got you another super chat. Say thank you. Carlos Lopez, thank you very much. It's very kind of you. First time I ever send a super chat. Thank you. There you go, see? Anyway. Very good. Uh, so this is reading pH. It's reading salinity and it's reading temperature. You look extremely unimpressed. Who, me? No, I just, yeah. I, like, like, I would have to see it to to salinity I, I don't know why it's just me who cares about it this much but it's you, the thing that seems... see it. look at it it's right there it's right no there. i have to see it working and i have to know how often it needs to be calibrated there you go. yeah 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 look at this <laughs> thank you very much so, see apparently all we have to do is ask <laughs> <laughs> okay but uh, look i i know that you are appreciative of these people and i i would like to say thank you as well not as i said i promise you i genuinely alex hasn't done this secret thing with me to give me half it or anything I just think he really deserves it. So anyway. Oh, God. Um, You're making me cry, Ryan. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> the the problem I have with all salinity checkers is that they all have to be calibrated and they all lose calibration so quickly. Um, so if I have to calibrate that little machine, which I assume I'm going to, is it as easy to calibrate as their just normal salinity pen, which has temperature on it already? So... And I, do I need it to monitor pH as well? I don't. So is it a product that's required? I don't know. And it, it's, not, it's not a product that's required. No, absolutely not. Yeah. But I think this is good because, well, actually, do you know what? So first up, salinity, temperature, and and the, the, the downside with Hannah is there's no jazzy bit. So there's no app. Yeah. Okay. And that's the one thing that actually uh, uh, Diamantos has just mentioned. Yeah. Um it could do with an app and they could do with an app. Um, and uh, Foxy's rinsing me saying, I'm just going to spend all this I money, I on saw that. <laughs> which is entirely possible. But so Hannah doesn't have an app and Hannah could do with an app. That would be really good. I'd love it if you could just put the data in. So when you do a test, it just stores it in, and you got your history there and then. Um, ah, oh, Rogue's ruining it. You're, you're telling Ryan how much this is going to cost. How much would you pay? How much do you think? Stop, look up, look up. Wait, stop looking at the chat. Who, me? How, yeah, you. Oh, oh, I won't um, look at the chat I just read that definitely doesn't say $250. You bastard. You ruined my fun. <laughs> uh, let, so me, I, one second, let me just take a guess how much I would pay for this. Uh, probably $250. No way. That's what it costs. <laughs> That's exactly what I would. Uh, like, where's, how can I give them my money? <laughs> it's um, Look, there are lots of machines which already test um, the pH and they already test salinity, and they all need to be calibrated. If this doesn't need to be calibrated, I 100% oh, no, no, no. would absolutely be the first person to buy it, and I'd pay a thousand pounds for it because that will, that will oh. absolutely, yeah, yeah, I know that will absolutely need to be calibrated. Of course, it will. It's a probe at the end of the day, they've not invented a new uh, type of device that measures salinity and, and pH and charge you $250 for a brand new piece of tech. But the reason I think this is good, this is so going down the list of my questions then, do I want it? No, I don't actually. I wouldn't buy this because I don't yeah. need it. I've I've got something that tells me temperature, pH and salinity already. So do I want it? No. Will it improve? My, if I did want it though, if I was, if it was aimed at people like me, <clears throat> would it improve my reef tank? Maybe. If you can. Yeah, but if would it? Because yeah, you if, already if, have a you already have a salinity. Um, no, no, no. Okay, but this so this is not for me. So if I didn't, if I'm setting up a brand new tank, yeah, and I want I'm looking for something to measure salinity and pH, I'm probably not bothered. Temperature, I want to know, of course, of absolutely, of course. But you can do it a lot cheaper than two hundred fifty dollars. Yeah. Salinity, do I want to measure salinity? 
Mm, it's you handy. Want to measure it, but you don't need to measure it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Time every day. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So yeah. So do I want to to have a constant measurement of salinity? Probably not that bothered. See, like I the idea would. Of it. I would have a constant measure of salinity if, if I it could, didn't need. If yeah, it was one hundred percent accurate. But they're just. So you're not, not going to get that. But then, so okay, so salinity, uh, take it or leave it. Basically, nice to have, I guess. pH, yeah, actually, I do, particularly given I use Calquasa. Yeah, yeah. And when I don't, I I've turned my pH probe off because I don't really care anymore because I know what it is. But when you're starting with that sort of thing, absolutely want to want to measure pH, and that's where this I think this comes in is is good because it's and actually they they were talking about this as being something you'd use on your salt water mixing tub, which I think is a little bit weird personally. I don't think I'd. I'd have it set up on my tank, but no, because reason... it's not calibrated, so you'd be salt mixing salt water to the wrong calibration. <laughs> so exactly. unless you unless you tested it every time, what's like I'm actually quite annoyed by this product. <laughs> I'm oh, <yeah>. serious. It's, <laughs> this is the one that's bothered me the most, and the reason it's bothered me the most is because who is buying this? So people that like fancy things usually have some sort of controller, don't they? So do you have a controller which currently measures salinity or pH? Yeah. And a temperature one. Yeah. yeah so yeah. who's buying it? What What is it for? Not me. This is not aimed at me because I already have stuff. And if you've got an Apex or a GHA, you don't need it. But who this is aimed at is comes down to the price. $250. 250 so let's, let's call that 250 quid for salinity probe, pH probe as well. That's cheap. I'm not saying it's. It, there's no app, so it doesn't tell you when you're at work or whatever. But if you if you want to uh, to monitor, that is the cheapest way to monitor pH, salinity, and temperature. Full stop. I love Hannah's products. Products. I like if they're here and they're listening. I love loads of yeah. your products. I use them all <laughs> the time. But with this one, I just don't get it. I don't get it for anyone. Fair enough. H Hannah is a huge company that I can guarantee. There's some of the some of the manufacturers will be watching this. Hannah, wait. You're like, I can guarantee you, they won't give a shit what you think, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. I know, but, oh, I, Alex I missed not... Ryan's point. What what point did you make? What did I miss? It's, I think, possibly that pe the people that buy the, these, look to be to be fair, to some extent, what do you what do people use? Oh, it's difficult. I don't, I don't know. See, I don't ever check my pH really. I just don't. And I don't no, really, no. and I, I have salinity monitor on the GHLs, but I ignore them because I use a HANA checker because it's, yeah, yeah. I calibrate it before calibrate I use it. it. Then use it. Yeah, yeah. So I know it's accurate. So for me, this feels like an unnecessary piece of kit that I just wouldn't use. I agree with you. And so if I, like, if you wound back a year ago before I started doing calc, I'm not really interested in pH. You, I probably should have been, but I'm not interested. And I wouldn't have bought that because I don't really care about monitoring salinity. I'd rather just check it occasionally. Yeah. It never changes. And um, uh, and and you do need to ca to calibrate them. But what the reason I think this is good is because if you want to monitor those three things, it's very expensive. You really, you've got to buy a, a Neptune Apex. Yeah, yeah, I see what you or mean. Or GHL. Yeah. Or even if you buy the refactory stuff, you can buy it separately. Buying all three of those, it's expensive. So no matter what you do, if you want to monitor those three things, it's expensive. What I like about this is that it makes that cheap. Yeah. I'm not saying so, I wouldn't. If you came to me, if like if someone did a a consultation, like you do consultations, fifty nine ninety nine at uh, prestigereef.co.uk. What I do during the consultations is I tell people, this is so Hannah will be my friend again. <laughs> I genuinely tell all new reefers to buy a Hanna salinity checker and a Hanna alkalinity checker and a Hanna phosphate checker. Those are the three things that I say absolutely you should own. Uh, so, Hannah, I'm not your enemy. I just don't get this product. <laughs> he, he anyway, sorry. Him. What was your point? He was, tell he was telling me before the stream how much he hates Hannah. <laughs> Shut um, up. <laughs> what I was saying is, if 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 I did consultations like you and someone said to me, "I've seen this Hannah Marine checker. I think I probably need it for my new tank." What do you think? I'd say, "No, you absolutely don't need it." Yeah. This is not. This is this is in the want not need category. Firmly in the want not need category. I yeah. just think it's cool that it's two hundred fifty quid to do all those three things. That there I are just... limits to it in that there's no app. It just it'll beep at you, so you've got to be at home to notice it. You've got to open the door to see the results and all that sort of stuff. 
And you've got to calibrate everything. P uh, the pH probe, you probably won't have to calibrate that often, but the salinity probe, you will. Yeah. I have to calibrate my salinity. Well, I don't calibrate it because I can't be asked, but I know it drifts after about a month or so. Yeah. So you'd have to calibrate that regularly. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the problem with all of them. That's that's the most I have. It's almost like I have a thing about salinity because that was where I went wrong with the coral farm at first. I was trusting a probe and it was wrong. So I've just never trusted a probe again. And and that's uh, that's why I see Fox, uh, Foxy's Reef says they, uh, they Hannah do nitrate. I don't think I've ever used the nitrate one. I don't know if I. I've, oh, I've used their counter one. I took it downstairs. Yeah, yeah, nitrate high range and low range. The low range is rubbish. The high range is good. That's interesting. Um, I was about to make a brilliant joke about probes. You Go said, on then. I don't, Go on then, everyone wait for Alex's joke. <laughs> <laughs> you said, I don't trust a probe since. And I was going to butt in and say, since the aliens came down and stuck one up your jacks, jacks but anyway. Well, I won't say that because that's... One second, uh, one really... second. Just give everyone a chance to laugh. <laughs> I mean, it's not as good as some of my jokes, but you know, well, you'll get there, you'll get there. Can you, that's the sound of no one yeah. laughing. Can laughter. you hear that? No, no, no laugh. That's fine. <laughs> um, but there we go. There are a couple of points. And Rogue Aquariums was agreeing with you 100%, which is unusual uh, you know, for anyone to agree. But I can't remember what... <laughs> I, I, I don't remember oh. what they were agreeing about. Every so often you get a proper blow. Like, oh, I shouldn't say that. Every so often you get a proper hit in. <laughs> <laughs> and that was one of them. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. Um, and let's go... I'm going to scroll back to, um, to a couple other comments. I've missed so many comments today. So that would be good for a mixing station. But the, to your point, it would be good for I don't I don't care what the pH of my newly mixed water is, it's probably 8.3. Um, okay. but you would have to calibrate it every time. So it wouldn't be good for a mixing station. And with a mixing station, the whole point of a mixing station is you mix the, the same amount of water every week. So yeah. you know exactly how much salt you need to put in. So I never test, uh, I never test my uh, my my newly mixed salt water because I know it's going to be I'll put 2.25 kilos in and it will be 1.86. It's interesting. I test so it just in case, but I, I see what I see your theory. There's no reason to, but I do test it just in case. I don't live by other people's rules. We've established this wrong. Oh, oh yes, we have yeah. realised that, didn't we? <laughs> I'm a, a mid, danger is my middle name. I actually met someone once whose middle name literally was Danger. No, it's a hundred percent. And I was like, he wait, told wait, me. Was that a hundred percent? He told you, or did you see his no, birth certificate? I didn't see his birth certificate, but it, 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 I, 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 he told me, and I was like, as if I was going to be impressed. Yeah. And I was like, that's ridiculous. If I have a son, I'm gonna name it Danger. Not, not the not the first name, middle name. I need yeah. to, I haven't got a son or even a partner, so it's gonna be difficult for me to have a son anytime soon, but I'll remember this. Uh well, anyway. <laughs> uh oh no, hang on, that's not the one I meant to buy post up. This one. I use are you still there, Ryan? You've frozen. I'm still here. Yeah, you're still there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I use a Hannah, Hannah salinity monitor because I don't trust my conductivity probe on my Apex. I calibrate the salinity to a tester twice a month. So that's the thing. You should you shouldn't really trust any um, salinity measuring device apart from a refractometer after you've calibrated it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, straight away after you've calibrated it, fine. The longer it leaves, longer it goes. Although to be fair, I used my um, Hannah salinity pen today just to test, just get a rough idea of what my two tanks were. And it said 1.025 for both of them, which I think is probably right. Yeah. So it doesn't always drift, but there are some times it drifts massively. And it's like, eh. um, but Foxy's was also saying this will be massively overpriced and lack the feature of a controller like power management. Why this? You might be talking about the Kraken because I don't think the Hannah's overpriced. Maybe, maybe you do think the Hannah's overpriced. I don't. Know. But there we go. Um, You've gone quiet, Ryan. You are you reading? You you're not reading a text message, are you? Really, you you're doing something else. What's going on? I I will show you later what it is, Hello. but it's just just don't don't worry. I will <laughs> okay, show you. Well, I, I have been distracted, uh, and I will sh show you later. <laughs> and you'll be well annoyed <laughs> later when I show you why. <laughs> but uh, oh, I had a, a message from someone who's watching the stream, so. Very good. Uh, and Ryan's going to be naughty. <laughs> or maybe that means I'm going to be naughty. I, uh, yeah, you missed sure. the price. Ah, $250 was the HANA thing, uh, which I think is pretty good. Uh, but there's other comments as well that I've, I've missed. Let me go back to this. HANA do two salinity testers. It's oh. hard because I see you think $250 is good, but I'm, I don't even know if yeah. it is. I, I really uh, think the, that the, we've the reason I say that. I, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, that's probably true. The reason I say that is because it's the cheapest way to do it. So, reef 
factory salinity guardian i've got a feeling it's like 300 quid the refactory one 300 quid for the refactory salinity probe now supposedly that's a very high quality salinity probe but i yeah. still find it needs calibrating so 300 quid to that and that is the before today uh well before this hand thing came out that was the cheapest mainstream option that i'm aware of there might be some other options that i've missed or whatever but that's the cheapest yeah, the way to monitor has salinity. one but it's like 800 isn't it for the exactly. whole thing so uh, that is i see what you mean uh, so, so if that's three, sorry, I've not explained this real, but it's so 300 quid at the moment is the cheapest way to do it. Hannah then says, do you know what, mate? I'll see your 300 quid. And actually the Salinity one does um, temperature as well. And it's got an app. The app's quite, quite good. But Hannah says, okay, do you know what? I'm going to knock 50 quid off that. And I'm going to give you a pH probe. I'm going to ask you a question now. When was the last time you looked at your Salinity? Uh, this morning. <laughs> okay, but uh, is that a regular occurrence? No, or is no. That... To, to be fair, I, I, I looked at that because um, I, I had my app up. And the honest answer is before I got my Salinity Guardian from Refactory, yeah, yeah. Um, six months, three or four times a year, maybe, actually. Okay, yeah, push, so when was the last time, How realistically, how much do people, I know you're doing something slightly different with CalQuester, so you need to know mm. more, but for the average, if you're not using that, do you need to know what your pH is usually? Because a lot of the time you don't have an awful lot of control over your pH either. Because it's sort to be of fair, you should know what your pH is, but you don't you don't need to monitor it. When I first got before I got my pH monitor from Refactory before I yeah. started calc. Yeah. Uh, and I, I turned it on, I was like, oh, that's interesting. It gave me a graph for a couple of months. I was like, cool. Let me what happens if I open a window? Oh, it doesn't change much. What if I turn the skimmer off? Oh, that's interesting. But after a couple of months, it's like, don't care. Yeah, so really, so... it's not something that you need to, for most people, will need to monitor. It's useful to know. But yeah. I think the most important one of those three is temperature. I genuinely yeah. think, because that, that usually fluctuates for people more, and it actually has a much larger impact. For some reason, the coral farm went up to, um, to 26. It's always, always, always 25.5. No idea what made it go up to 26, but for some reason it did. And... and if it went up to 27, I'd want to know. You, you see what I mean? So those are like life critical things that can go wrong in a day. And if, if you've put the wrong salinity in, that is can be life critical. But I just, I don't know. I just, I feel weird about this one for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> it's, it's funny because so, and, and actually the reason I say it's funny is because so Opinionated Reefer says the Hannah salinity pen is, is the best thing they've ever released. Yes, yes I agree. I don't. It's I so that I I wouldn't buy that Hannah monitor for two hundred fifty quid, but I think it, I like it. But yeah. the Hannah the Hannah check the Hannah pen, the reason I don't like it, or it's not that I don't like it. I do use it. I use it today. <laughs> and the reason yeah. I don't uh, rate it that highly, though, and certainly not the best thing they've done, is because after you've used it once, you've got to recalibrate it. So every yeah, but time at least you, you know check, when you calibrate it is absolutely accurate. Absolutely, and th and that's so, and that's uh, that's why I like it because I know. I can use it. There we go. It's bang on. It's hundred percent. So I do like that, but I think yeah. most people just want to to use a refractometer and be like, oh, yep, yeah, there we go. And you don't yeah. need to to, to um, calibrate a refractometer all the time. What? Who you told know, not you as that? Much as a, not as much as a, you need to calibrate it, but not as much as a like a digital one. I don't know about that. I think I thought I've heard, well, I, like, I don't know. I've heard that they are notoriously unreliable, but the, you might be right. This is just saying I've been told and I'm repeating. I don't use them, so okay. I don't know. Cause... Mine is mine. Whenever I calibrate mine, it's spawn. <laughs> You're going to be telling me to use one of those hydrometer swing things soon, aren't you? <laughs> I've got, oh, not, not the swing on. No, I've got a, I've got a bobbing hydrometer. Um, oh, yeah. well, just like a little glass thing. Do you know what's really yeah. interesting about this, this live stream? You, like I think that to some extent we go into these things, I or I did expecting us to agree mostly on the same things, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. we have entirely different opinions, and it's fine to have a different opinion. It doesn't make us enemies. It just we just I'm not sure if you froze or you did a really weird face then. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, it's um, it it's just really interesting because we we're trying to do the same thing. We're both very experienced at what we do. But we can have two entirely different feelings about exactly the same thing, so I think it's, it's quite it's quite good. <laughs> but and that yeah, that that's that kind of spans the the the, the hobby as well because that's what everybody's like. And so uh, and yeah uh, yeah that's, that's good. Uh, to summarize all the all the stuff then, 
so that we've yeah. gone through, we'll, we'll go hit and miss. Kamoa KH Kara. What do you think? Hit or miss? Which one was that? <laughs> that's, oh, that's the, that was the, like, I don't, I have machine. two KH. What, I, look, firstly, if it was really, really accurate and you could prove to me it was really accurate, I'd say yes and I'd get it. But if it, if I'm it was, exactly you buy it. I'm, I'm asking, this is not if you or I would buy it. It's, do you think it's good? And like, would you, is it a good purchase for people? Do you think it's potentially if it's a good more purchase? accurate than what else is on the market? It would be a very good purchase. Yes. If it's the same, it if it's the same, then it doesn't really make much difference. You can buy any of a whole range of different products. Fair enough. I think it's, I think I don't, I wouldn't expect it to be more accurate, but I think it's another option I'd like to know about, but I want to know about the app because if the app is like it used to be, I'm, I'd go for something else. But I think okay. it's, I think it's a good other option. But it doesn't. You're right. It doesn't add anything new, and I wouldn't okay. have that on my next to my TV. All right. Yeah. Number two, the Elos doser that does on the scales. Hit or miss? I I wouldn't get that. Not for me. I I would more likely second. get the first one than that one because, as I said already, I would just if my <clears throat> if my levels are too low, I just increase it. I just go yeah, add a few more meals. That will do. So, so I think I, the Kamoa KH Kara will be a hit, but I think this the the Elos Dosa. Uh, it's 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 hard to say because it's it's a niche product. It's not aimed at you and me, so yeah. really there's no point in us discussing it. But really, all of I think it's hard because we have what we. It's like, or would we replace yeah. what we already have? And we like but that's not that's don't... not what I'm talking about. It just we we can still look at it and and assess if it's a good bit of kit, can't we? That's what I'm talking. Yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Well, yeah. I'm happy that, with what that, I've got already. <laughs> exactly. I'm not about to go and buy, spend 900 quid on Dosa. Oh, in fact, when I know it's 900 pounds, definitely it's not yeah, for yeah. me. I forgot no, about exactly. that bit. I think, I, think it's, I think it's a good bit of kit. And for some people, it'll be spot on, but I don't want it. Yeah, no, that's, that isn't for me. No. Yeah, um, pure, purely just... based on the price. If it, if it was the same price as all the others, then it would make no difference to me which one. They all mostly do roughly the same thing. The Kraken power supply thing. Yes, I actually think that would probably be quite good for most people, including myself, if I had a normal tank. Yes, that so that's you're not going to get it because not in the UK, <laughs> but I agree well, that for me is that's the best thing on this list. And if if that was available in the UK, I would buy it. Well, yeah. sub actually, I'd want to see what other people think about it first, and if it was yeah. decent, I would buy it. Uh, next one was uh, what was the one we did before the uh, the, the Hannah one. Before the Hannah one, yeah, no, we didn't do the, one before the Hannah one. Oh no, the skimmer, the skimmer, the skimmer. Oh with yeah, the filter roll. It's a, it's a hard. It's. Mm, I don't know if that idea will catch on. Usually, what happens is there's a really good product like a filter roller, and then one person will make it, and then Red Sea will make it, and then everyone else will make it. I don't know if that will catch on, and it will just remain permanently and sort of like a gimmick. I like the idea that they're all three of them are combined. Um. I would be, there's too many unknowns. This is like an, a, I'm not going to say yes or no. This is a, a, a neutral thing because there's too many unknowns because that is an entirely new product, basically. And how they all work together, I'd be interested to see. I'm the same. I think I'm, I'm not, when I saw the fil automatic filter roller first came out, the feeling roller mat, that gave me a, a big stiffy, basically. I was like, I want that. I hate filter socks. Uh, and you, yeah. you missed you, you. I can tell you weren't listening to what I was saying because I used the word stiffy. You said you, you hate. Laugh, so. You said you hate filter socks, but I did miss the word stiffy. So <laughs> there you go. But so when apparently, the, when the, the, on, apparently my uh, my ears are not in tune to that word as yours are. So no, I know. But the, so the, when the filter roller, automatic filter roller came out, that to me was like, oh, that is awesome. No more filter socks. I hate filter socks. And I was using yeah, filter yeah. socks at the time. So that was amazing. This skimmer thing with the filter on it, I'm like, that's cool. But it's not It's not the same, not in the same league. So yeah, like, I think yeah, that might be a bit niche. I don't think it's a gimmick, but I think it might be a bit niche. Not yeah. as niche as the Elos million pound doser. Yeah. But I think it will be a bit niche. And finally, the Hannah Marine monitor. Uh, that well, we we know my I made my opinion very clear. I love loads of Hannah's products. Not sure about the calcium checker. Uh, see, I'm honest. Love uh, love phosphate alkalinity. Love their salinity. D calcium is too complicated for me. Too many like chain like things. I'd rather mm, just yeah, use a yeah. salivate test Simple. and get it half right. 
are like oh, all right enough um but um but yeah so i for, it's definitely not for me this one i think that will be a bit niche as well i think most people won't want that but when so when i went through a, a stage there was a there was what's the company uh tunzi tunzi did some kind of controller that, that had a ph monitor on it as well and when i went looking for things that will measure those things it's difficult to to find something so when and yeah. uh, when you get the cheap when you go looking for that you'll come across the hana one you go oh wicked but most people won't want it so i yeah. think that's niche as well uh, someone's just written ctac is there is a an innovative yeah, basically that was some I, what that is. I, heard, I heard i heard that so it's a glue basically like i don't know if it's under, oh. underwater glue i saw it and it just didn't really do anything for me because coral glue works uh super glue works fine but i didn't i didn't actually pay much attention to it i'm just looking at it now it's uh it's hard to it's hard to know it just looks like it's glue without actually reading it and there's quite a lot of words so i won't yeah, be reading that enough. now but i might be reading it later it's um okay well i i Oh, the the so there's two things before because we've done we've done no we've done all of those ones haven't we? The first thing I'd yeah. like a oh, lot yeah, of these products are basically just the same products that's been repackaged as something else. So I don't I'd be interested to know if anyone in the comment section can genuinely think of something that they would love for their tank, like that they'll go. Mm. If I had this, it would be life changing, because yeah. because as I said at the very beginning during Mac uh, Macra 2018. That was when all the first testing products came out. The first KH Director, all the Red Seas new products. They had, um, as I said, the Reef Kinetics thing where you could use any test kits. Those were real innovative, like never seen before products. We haven't had a year like that for a long time. And as far as I know, the only product which I'm genuinely excited to come out eventually assuming it works correctly, and I know it is out to some extent, is the GHL Ion Director. Because if it works correctly and it's out, mm. I don't know if it is out. I know you have some issues with them um, because of their app and stuff like I'm, that. I'm not even thinking that. I'm thinking with that, it measures nitrate, a calcium, magnesium, and uh, strontium, phosphate. or whatever it was. And phosphate. It doesn't, it doesn't measure phosphate. I don't know. I think that's the only thing it doesn't measure if you, if you add it to all the other ones. And that's the only thing that I want it to measure. Uh, really? Uh, Calcium, yeah. So calcium and nitrate were the two ones which I was most interested in, and then the yeah. only test kit I would need would be a phosphate. That's why, yeah, I remember that now. Um, and Red Devil sums it up. Do you know the the one thing that I think that I'd be excited about coming out that would change, that make a massive difference to my tank? Yeah, some new lights. <laughs> <laughs> or someone no. to come maintain the tank for you. Exactly. Yeah. 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 In a, in a maid's dress. Um, <laughs> uh, so phosphate monitor, that is, so the, the ion director, I, it's not because I had issues with, with, I didn't like the software with GHL. The reason I'm not excited about that is it doesn't do phosphate. And I, would I like to, something to test nitrate for me? Yeah. That'd be quite cool. Calcium. Yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah. I, yeah. Wouldn't mind that. Magnesium. Mm, I suppose so. Uh, and uh, what was the other one? Potassium, I think it is. That is potassium. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. So, but all of the nitrate, yeah, okay. I don't really, none of them make me excited. If it was phosphate nitrate, I get the, so in theory, if you've got an, a, a KH director and an ion director, you've got alkalinity, calcium, magnesium, nitrate in the bag. That's pretty sweet. Not calcium. It's the only thing, not, oh, and cal, yeah, alkal, alkalinity, calcium, magnesium. Oh, if you have the ion director, yes, yes. The ion director sorry. as well, and nitrate. That's pretty sweet. And that's, yeah. that's no bad thing. It's just that all I really care about, if you could just, if I could have two testing devices, it would be alkalinity and phosphate. Those are, for me, the things I want to know to be automated most. That's true, actually. That is why that's the thing, the two things I check the most at the moment. And if you ask, if you did a poll of 100 people, the majority of people would say phosphate. And yeah, I think was what Red, Red, Rev Devil says <laughs> there must be a reason that it doesn't get done. I know, I think Reef yeah. Kinetic does a phosphate test, but it does. That's a lot of money. It's like a thousand pounds for just to do one test. <laughs> and I don't know how accurate it is. Well, there's someone mentioned the Reef Factory one. There's a Reef Factory um, smart tester coming out that can test phosphate, and it's basically okay. it's a it's a Hannah checker, you know, it, as in yeah. it uses light and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah. But um, but which is in pot potentially quite cool. Will it be accurate? Who knows? Because really, you, I don't. You, you want it to be accurate. <laughs> well, it's the same for any of these things. <laughs> like they yeah. can all say one, do whatever they. They can all say something, but if they're not accurate, 
It's, oh, they almost... called the Iron Director again. Yeah, I, I think I've heard that. Wow. I, I knew that, that it wasn't um, as it, it, they, it, they, you can't get them as easy. I know that. They massively delayed it uh, originally in the first place by like two years to work on it. And now they've pulled it. Mm. I did see that. I saw two videos on it. I saw Parker's Reef and Telegram. Parker's yeah. Reef hated it and it just, he couldn't get it accurate. It was all over the place of results. Telegram loved it. Um, I trust Telegram. I don't. I don't know Parker's Reef that well, but oh, but I, Sammy doesn't trust you. He doesn't no, like it's not you. that. It's just <laughs> Telegram. Like absolutely, just could be brutal sometimes <laughs> to people, and that's what I love. I love how brutal he is, and he just doesn't care. Yeah, <laughs> he's like he'll like most... open something up, and he'll be like, eh, by the way, these only cost three dollars. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and they're selling yeah. it for 300 300 dollars you're like oh, wow but parker's reef is is again quite down the line he doesn't fluff things up or whatever oh, is he? So, i don't know yeah yeah so um so i i yeah i i don't know but either way i i'm not i, I almost ordered an iron director actually back in the day yeah. um and i didn't because i didn't know when it was coming out but i almost ordered it um you ask for people to say what they want automated calc slurry uh, reactor dose so that you could set the strength of calc oh yeah to be dosed it would also monitor ph and so th yeah that's basically what um chris meckley does <laughs> he doses yeah. calc slurry to uh, oh no no i think it uh, maybe he doesn't but he doses calc to ph so if you could pin your peg your ph at 8.3 all, all day long all day and yeah. all night yeah that would be that would be uh, i would pay a lot of money for that <laughs> just difficult to do and you'd need to calibrate it regularly i think <clears throat> yeah yeah well, yeah you definitely would <laughs> auto power uh backup that works on most marine kits which is what the kraken is really yeah <clears throat> although I, I, there's something about volts and amps there so maybe it's not i know um sammy d wants uh, uh, a trident 2.0 with phosphate is night isn't any for nitrite is, why do you want why do you want to measure nitrite or is that no, ammonia I, I know. ammonia is NO4 nitrate? Is that I nitrate? think NO1 is, uh, is I don't know what it is, to be honest. Uh, well, NO3 I've got, is, is I've got nitrate. i my nitrate test kit in front of me. I'll be able to tell you. <laughs> yeah, but that's, that's NO... It's ortho nitrate. Nit nitrate, what the hell? Oh, NO3 is nitrate, isn't it? I don't know what NO4 yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, so I, I, don't know, I don't know what it is. Maybe that's a typo. Maybe it means nitrate, it, which would make more sense. So phosphate, nitrate, and potassium. That would be cool. Uh, yes. Yeah, I'm not sure. What, I'm, I'm not sure what people would do with the potassium one. Like, dose it, more if it's low. Yeah. No. Well, thanks. Thanks, Al. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is, it's most people don't test it at all now. So if you don't no, test no. it at but, all now and you've not it tested it for the last 15 be. years, uh, potassium is one of the things that actually you probably would notice a difference if it was off and you started testing. It is what a lot of people say. I I, I don't know to be honest with you. Yeah, but yeah, certainly nitrate and phosphate. If you go, if you gave me a nutrient test that does nitrate and phosphate, sign me up. Yeah, we. I I know you like to keep these two hours, and we've got seven minutes left. So I just I I I don't know if you either want to wrap it up or you very quickly want to say the last one, which is the Apex and Mobius connection. Um, oh yeah 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 yeah. Do it. Which do it, do I it. think, I think a lot of people. Let's put it this way: if you're buying an Apex, usually you're buying like high end equipment, and you'll go for things like Radions. So the fact that you have um, you can combine uh, Apex and Mobius, I think, will be useful for will probably be useful for quite a lot of people. Not for me; I don't have an Apex, but the people that are going for the very high end reefing will they this will be very they've probably been crying out for this, especially if you love tweaking things with your Apex. So I think that that will be a good thing for a lot of people, but not for not for yeah. us because we don't have either of them. I don't pay any attention to Apex stuff because I don't have one. So if, yeah. if like if they bring out a new uh, leak detection kit or a, a, a 0 to 10 volt port, I don't care. <laughs> but no, I, I suspect I would care if I had one. But... Did you see that ruler thing that they had, like the water level? I did, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That looks quite cool. I swear they're just making things now just <laughs> just to make them. <laughs> but that that the reason if that works, the reason that would be cool is so whenever I'm on holiday, I always think, what if my um, ATO stops dosing? Because yeah. my Tunzi, it does that sometimes. It pisses me off. It's the little um, optical sensor. Like, yeah. I'll go and open the cabinet, and there's no water touching the sensor. And it's like, mate, can you do some fresh water, please? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so if, but... you had a if you had a device that, that told you what water level you were at, I'd be able yeah. to look at it and go, hang on, 10 centimeters, it's supposed to be 15. 
and I would know that uh, what what level it is. So that I I like that. I think that's good. Yeah, I suppose I was going to say, would you then use your tons? You, you you then, if you were away, you couldn't then tell your tonsy thing. But I suppose if you've got an apex, you've probably got an apex auto top up as well. <laughs> I assume they do one. But so. even if I was at home, I'd like. There are times I go downstairs, uh, and it's two days later. I'm checking, and it's two days since the auto top off went off. Really? But that's 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 a bit. Yeah, yeah. It pisses me off, and I've if I've had it with all auto top offs at one point. I use the GHL ones on the uh, thing. They're bloody brilliant. I didn't know GHL did one. Yeah, yeah, they do. They do one that goes with their Profilux. Could be if you've got ah, a Profilux, okay. though, you haven't got one. No, they're yeah. like a million pounds a name. Well, it's it's like this. Literally, we'll never have any issue with them ever. Interesting. Um, consumer grade ICP tester. Yeah. What really, what really you want is a, a, a saltwater um, a parameter probe. You just stick in your tank and it tells you yeah. every single parameter and it never needs calibrating. <laughs> it's completely accurate and it's it will dose for you. It will dose yeah, for it, you. And it doesn't cost six million pounds. <laughs> no, and it feeds the fish and it detects yeah. if they've got ick or if or Clean to any, glass. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Uh, there was um do you remember did you ever see that M O or M A I O um uh, M A I O. Mawam. Yeah. Little chewy no. sweets. No, what well, let me do M A A M A I O Aquarium. They had this like no M O A I is what it is. I think it was it was like a Kickstarter program that then I think went okay. bankrupt. And I'm sure Ecotech did something with it, but then nothing ever came of it. I don't I can't find it. Uh it's like an automatic it's like a rumba for your glass. And it also had oh, cameras on yeah, it and tested the water yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. It sounded amazing, but it just yeah, never did. Time... Not... No, they, 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 I've seen a couple of them. Um, and they they look cool in that it's cleaning your glass for you and cleaning your glass is a pain in the ass and it makes a big difference. So that would be wicked. But there are, there are problems with all of them. Number one, if it's just like if I'm cleaning my glass, sometimes I might uh, I might need to avoid breaking a coral. It wouldn't think about that. Yeah, I don't yeah. always want to knock snails off that sort of stuff. It wouldn't think of that. It would just plow into them. Yeah. But more to the point, it wouldn't go right to the very edge and you'd need one for each panel because otherwise it can't go around corners. That's true. That's true. But you like spending loads of money on your tank service. You'll have <laughs> <laughs> all moving everywhere. <laughs> but uh, th but that's a maintenance thing. If you could get if a proper robotic glass cleaner would be incredible because it when you clean your glass after a few days of, of algae on it, that suddenly the tank looks amazing. So I would pay good money for, for one of those. Yeah. But they've I've never seen one that 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 would that would work. No. I was offered one. Worry, one. Yeah. Do you remember that there was I like really... a robo snail? They offered they said they'd yeah, give yeah, it to yeah. me. And I just went, no. <laughs> because <laughs> because I just I just didn't see, it was this massive thing um that sits on the glass permanently and you're just like well, if this reef tank is meant to be nice and the whole point of the MP40 is that there's no wires in it and then and that it's aquascaped in a way so it's visually appealing, and then just on the front, bam, this big round thing. Yeah. It just yeah. doesn't it just doesn't do it for me. So yeah. however, that that um that uh M A uh, what was yeah, it? M O A I <laughs> I found it. I wanted one of those badly. When, but I do see they won't get, they won't clean the edges of the glass. But yeah. what I would end up doing is just just not cleaning the edges of the glass for a month, and they just do it once a month, which is twelve times a year. Oh, so, yeah. but it had a camera on it; it could also test and everything. I think, okay. but but it just for whatever reason they they just I think they made a Kickstarter as if it was like let's just put a load of things together with no thought of actually being able to do them. Yeah. We won't be able to do it, but it sounds good. Yeah, <laughs> it'll get you to yeah. part with your money. Um, there's a few comments I'm going to catch up with. Why no okay. Apex? Uh, so it, to me, and as a non-Apex user, for a start, I used to, like the the, the energy bar in the UK was rubbish. Yeah, because yeah. Or limit, sorry, not rubbish. Sometimes I'm a bit black and white with my wording. I don't I don't mean to be blunt. I just, just the way I talk. Sometimes um, the like the energy bar wasn't, it was limited because it didn't tell you what the power um, usage was. The new one does, I believe. And but that put me off because in America they get it over here we don't. And I was like, oh, I don't like that. That's no longer an issue. But the main thing is for me, that's the sort of thing that I would have to learn. You have to learn a lot, and that you, it would spend. I'd have to spend hours going through it, and working out what it does, how I need to to work. I can't be asked. 
I it's would a sort have of thing. If someone set it up for me. <laughs> Do you know what? If I had one, I bet I'd love it. But I just yeah, can't yeah. bother with it. And I've I've come close to buying them a couple of times. And I really like the idea of an ORP probe because then I could run um, uh, what's the stuff uh, ozone. <laughs> Yeah, they've got those on the GHLs. The uh, uh, they're actually reasonably interesting when they're first calibrated. And you look at it and you're like, well, what even is that? And what's making it goes up and down? It's to do with nutrients, isn't it? And and like dissolved. I think I, I remember looking at it once, but I don't really care what it is, so I don't even look at it anymore. It makes your water shiny. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, <laughs> I, I kind of remember. All it. This is the thing. So like ORP, it's, I think it stands for oxygen reduction potential or something like that. But with with a lot of stuff in reefing. I don't know what that means. I don't care what it means. I don't know. what. If you ask me to define alkalinity, if I ask you to define alkalinity, what is it? What's the scientific definition of alkalinity? I don't know what the scientific e explanation is. I know what it does and how how the corals use it to build their skeleton, but I don't know what the I mean, scientific... That's, that's the point I'm making, because I think actually the scientific definition is alkalinity is the point at which... Um, an acid becomes a base or something. It's some weird explanation. Oh, and actually what we're weird. adding in our alkalinity is several different ions. It's not like calcium where it's calcium and you put calcium in. Yeah, so there's yeah. some weird explanation, but I don't care about that and you don't need to know. It's the same with ORP. I don't really know what it means. I don't care. I know yeah. that it needs to be at this number. And if it's at this number, it's bad. Anyway, I don't know why I went off on that rant. <laughs> no. No. Uh, Let's, uh, so we've got, uh, oh, we have gone over the time. I'm going to I'm gonna scroll through in that case and see if there are any um, other um, comments. I'll be honest, I am like well tired for some reason today. <laughs> so, oh, are you? Yeah, well, I just, we'll it's, only, I... no, it's only hit me in like the last 15 minutes. So I, I don't know why I'm tired. I just, just feel like it. So the, as you know, these they're quite intense and you feel wired afterwards, don't you? Yeah, so, yeah it's weird. I think it also, I think it's because my wine ran out like half an hour ago. So, and if I got no it. wine, then now this thing is really hard work. work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> uh, it's uh, Laura tells me actually, weirdly, I don't know. It's odd. Um, anyway, uh, thank you very much for joining, Ryan. It's been a pleasure having you along as uh, as always. Am I back next week? <laughs> I don't know. It, uh, it yeah. doesn't bother me. I just, and then since you put like the, we're now like a prestige reef dot couple. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I'm assuming this is a more regular occurrence. So, but I, the, so I want to get more guests on. Yeah. Uh, but the the only guests I'm so I like having Sean at the Ocean Project on. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, I think he he's got some interesting stuff. Uh, but he's always busy because he runs a shop, and I know yeah. you do as well. But you know, uh, I think I think running a shop takes more time. Um, I'd like to get. <laughs> I'm not insulting you. <laughs> I don't care. Uh, I agree. I'm, with I'm you. not meaning to. Um, and uh, what else was I going to say? Uh, and I'd like to, I've emailed Jamie Craggs of the Hornier oh, yeah. Museum. Have I you said, had a response? No. <laughs> well, I had a, so I, I sent him a message on Facebook and then I was like, he's never going to read this. So I sent him an email directly to his email address and it said, I got an, an out of reply, an out of office saying, I'm away for two weeks yeah. in, in Machna, so I'll catch up later. And I'm guessing he probably gets a thousand emails. Oh, he, so, replied, he replies to my Facebook messages. Oh, does it? Are you buying it? Jamie, what are you doing? I, only a couple <laughs> on, on, on Messenger, do you mean? Uh, Facebook Messenger, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. As in, where, where, are you friends with him? Uh, Don't know. Maybe. Uh, yeah. It's usually only, I usually, very, yeah. very occasionally, I'll send him a picture of some of a coral, which is like I sent him a picture of the um the grafted like trackie, where it was, you know, two different trackies combined. Um, or very Ooh, occasionally. friend. No, <laughs> coral friend. You're just jealous. <laughs> I am, hundred percent. You only have people like me to talk to. <laughs> I know, but so uh, so. Let me just. I'll tell you if I am friends with him on Facebook. I'm not. No, no, I'm not. So that, that's wow. probably. Wow. Uh, have, have you met him in real life? Uh, I've seen him in a room. <laughs> well, well, we met in real life, and he was incredibly unimpressed by me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but th this is the thing i don't think he'll come on I, I think he's got bigger fish to fry as it were yeah. um and I, but I, he'd be cool to have on apart from that there's not really like so I, like people like keith uh, reef bum and, and reef dudes have a new guest on all the time yeah and i look i look at all their guests and i think i couldn't think of a list of, of all the people who i why don't you, why don't you just follow their guests <laughs> Well, I, I, I don't know. I, to be honest, I like doing these. As I've, I've told you, I've told you a thousand times that I enjoy these streams anyway. So I'd, I'd definitely want to have more guests on. 
but I enjoy yeah. these. So there cool. is one person who would be re- I, I need to remember who it is who'd be really interesting for you to have on. He's a man who's breeding Moorish idols. He's he's not anyone. He's not a YouTuber or anything like that. He's you just. About him, yeah. I spoke to him for about twenty minutes. He was one of the most interesting <clears throat> people I've I've met in the hobby. Um. I don't know if he's had any success with breeding them. Oh, look, you've got your dating website. I know. Get, just take a hint, will you, mate? Block user bot. So, um, anyway, we have digressed. I, if you want me back, yeah. I'll be back. And if not, I don't really. It's, it's, I like to watch. I do. I I, and actually, do you know what? The, the, other, the other video I was going to do, topic I was going to do for tonight, which we'll do next week now, was uh, 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 Reef Builders Stole It. So a couple of weeks ago, before, like probably about a month ago when we did one last time, yeah. you said halfway through, oh, we should do a, video, a stream about products that um, look really good, but actually are rubbish. Did I? And I was like, that's a, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, that's a brilliant idea. Like the, the, the Red Sea Skimmer Cup thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I thought that's a brilliant idea. And I've got a few ideas for that. And then, uh, so I was like, you know, we'll put um, them a week later, Reef Builders uh, did on their Reef Therapy. They did the exact same thing. But, and they, and they stole a couple of the ideas that I was thinking. So they've got really? into my head somehow. Yeah. Jake, Jake Adams has gone into my head. Maybe he's, my watching, while I'm maybe he's watching all your videos. And, and... Well, I didn't, I've, ne- I've never said these out loud. So he's, he's, he's doing a Freddy Krueger. Oh, going into my sleep, while, you know, dreams while I'm asleep. Anyway, so we'll do that next week. <laughs> well, you know me, I'll turn up, you know, unprepared and just, just put me in front of a camera and just, we'll just say whatever I want. <laughs> Absolutely. Apparently it's the threesome special. So uh, anyway. On that note, uh, I will end it. Thank you very much, all uh, all of you, for coming, and uh, I will catch you all next week. Bye, right. guys. See you later.